You are listening to the Boxing Voice. It's showtime! Welcome back, welcome back, boxing fans. Blood is good. Tired of facing a massive blood. Blood is emotion. Too much blood coming out of the eye. Blood is a story, a drama, deep gas, blood pouring right into his eye. Blood is what we want to see in terms of passion. Blood streaming now from the cut the eye, nose, and mouth, and cheeks. We have Heather, the Heat Hardy. Is this you? This is me. I think I need to talk to you every night because you make me smile. Oh, yeah. Never been a lame hoe. Never been a lame hoe. Yeah, I love you. Strip. Um, I'm okay. You're serious? You serious? And that's the good thing about UK. That's why I can't hate on them guys, man. They love fucking boxing. No fighters in England. They all bum. Did you hear what this idiot just said? Yo, son, you're gonna get your ass beat by Molina, son. Are you fucking that. kidding me? He's overrated. That. Just some pushes from me right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice. Damn. Coming off such a high with Canelo Laura, now we got this Rigondale card, man. Rigondale being treated like a stepchild. It's not even on HBO. It's on Unimas. That's cray. But winner, winner, chicken dinner. We forgot to announce the glove because of the passion. Um, but uh, we picked two winners. Um, of course, using random.org. Uh, and uh, there was uh, not that many people in it. It was about, uh, I think it was 176 submissions. But remember, um, you know, you can bid. You could uh, do the dollar forty as much as you want. So people took advantage of that. So much so that Andre... I'm not even going to say your last name because you know who you are. Andre won again. Andre won again, guys. Step it the fuck up. But also, uh, remember, we had two gloves. So uh, the second glove is Nick Green. I do not, not know who you are, but I guess I will be finding out pretty soon. But, um, yeah, man, uh, big show like always. Um, I'm kind of trying to see if we could get uh, Robert Garcia on. It's not even scheduled. Normally, uh, when I want somebody, we schedule them. Um, but because of the press conference, uh, you know, he's out there still. Um, if not traveling somewhere, so I'm hoping, you know, texting, seeing if uh, he could find some time to come on here because I, I, I'm i liking the approach that he's taken this time around. He's taking some shots at Mayweather. Mayweather is uh, still taking shots at him. The first time that Mayweather did it was for the first fight, and it was indirectly, you know, by saying, okay, you know, uh, Robert Garcia is a great trainer. He and I were champions at the same time or something like that, and, uh, you know, now, this time around, <laughs> he's taking shots, and uh, so is so is uh, Garcia, man. Garcia, he called him a bitch and everything, so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I like, uh, you know, I like the, the antics. I love the antics. But um, also got a few notifications of uh, purchases that were made through the store, and uh, again, I... I I, I don't get a name, so I can't personally shout you out, but you know who you are, and uh, thank you. Thank you for visiting, uh, you know, theboxingvoice.com uh, forward slash store. Uh, definitely helping us. Um, as you can see, I had to take off 
of work to get to that Mayweather New York press conference. Uh, but I'm glad I went. And I hope you guys checked out those videos because I roasted LRB. I roasted them. I bet you the next time they see me, they're going to have bodyguards. <laughs> and I got to ask Floyd some questions, man. Last year for the Canelo uh, Alvarez um, Mayweather, I didn't, I, didn't get to do, I didn't get to do nothing. I got right in his face. Now, last year was more organized than this year. You know, I got right in his face. It was my turn, me and Vic. I was actually going to play the back. Too, because this I was just gonna have Vic, you know, record him. Uh, I mean, uh, me record him and Vic, you know, talking. This way, Vic could, uh, you know, be in the shot and it look a little more professional. But uh, yeah, man, I got to talk with Floyd. We locked eyes too, man. Uh, he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. Um, but uh, boy, it, 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 you know, that 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 money Mayweather thing is real. He had multiple multiple women now um you know for all my white guys out there listening to the show you know i'm talking about video victims you know you probably don't even watch videos but and thick girls that you probably don't like but <laughs> he had a bunch of them too it was a lot um he had all his kids all his kids was there that was that was cool uh <laughs> It was funny because uh, in the middle of questioning his kid, uh, the one with the mohawk, I, I have no clue what's his name, but he comes over and he's sipping on some Starbucks. So Mayweather's like, yo, did you get me something? And all the reporters, you know, uh, standing around uh, me in that area that he, he was looking at because his son was there, thought that uh, he was talking to them. So everybody's asking each other, what? Uh, not me. I knew... I'm talking myself, so I seen his son running over there from a long time ago. But uh, yeah, man, I want to tell you guys. Um, I have been reading all the reviews as well for the app. I'm I'm glad you guys love it. Um, you know, shout out to B for creating that, man. And B did that. He did that. So huge pat on the back to B for that one. Um, and of course, uh, you know. As you know, as say it week in, week out, head on over to the affiliates page uh, at the website and, uh, you know, check out Audible, use the affiliate link, continue to support us, and uh, we're going to continue to put this work in. Because I'm telling you, I saw Tate L.A.B. And there was some off-air shit I couldn't, I couldn't do, you know. Um, I, got, I got pushed away, you know. I was told to go away. <laughs> But, uh, man, you got to do what you got to do, for real. They don't come over here often, and I ain't got no intentions of going to Vegas. Can't afford it. So I can't wait. You know, I can't be nice. I can't be nice and build a relationship. I'm here to get my, my, my answers to you guys' questions, you know. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. And now, here. What up? See, uh, did you see the presser today? Uh, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Uh, Richard Schaefer was there. I know. Robert Garcia, Robert Garcia taking shots at Mayweather. At Mayweather. I don't know. Yo, I don't know if he. I don't know if he have a comeback or. He just didn't want to address Robert Garcia, but it was uh, pretty interesting. They're doing a good job of selling this fight. They definitely are. Yeah, but all this stuff is for the for the hardcores because the casual fan doesn't know that Richard Schaefer got fired or left. So to well, me, I'm sure I'm sure if if you if you're gonna do and watch the Show Top All Access, that's gonna be a plot right there. That's gonna be. That's gonna be something they probably hark on, and you know Mayweather, as a special guest, brought in Richard Schaefer. And 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 I get that, I get that, but it's still for the hardcore fan. He's going to introduce the dirty laundry to the casual fan if he chooses to do what you're saying. But right now, as of now, Schaefer being at a press conference to the casual fan is every day. That's normal shit, cause he he was running the press conferences. So him just being there, casual fan has no fucking clue that that is like 
A fucking smack in the face to De La Hoya right there. Mayweather's playing dirty. Yeah, I guess, but I mean, he's... he's the gloves he, are off. Come on, let's be for he real. Told you, he told you himself. I, I, I'd call Golden Boy Promotions Richard Schaefer Promotions. Isn't that what he said in one of the videos? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, they're, they're doing a good job. I mean, Robert Garcia was saying... Uh, Floyd travels with a lot of ladies, and that's nice and all, but if he didn't have the money, they wouldn't be here. It was fun, man. It was a fun uh, fun press conference to watch. Yeah, so, he said something about them if, if they wasn't on payroll. Yeah, because, yeah, if it was on payroll. Look, look, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this shit, but I was there. And he, he speaks of these ventures, right? And you would just think it's something bigger than, you know, what he's talking about, basically, because, I mean, Mayweather, you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, associate Mayweather to a makeup line, you know? But that's his thing. He, he's trying to teach the people around them to be entrepreneurs and whatnot, so that the girl that you see on All Access massaging him, she's blonde. Her name is something Medina. Bad Medina. There you go. He is bad, let me tell you. She looks almost identical to Miss Jackson, but way more exotic. She's right. Um, but yeah, he's doing some makeup line with her, and then he said that his baby mother got a store. He, look, this is how you know that what's coming out of his mouth is 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 weird. I'm not even gonna say farce because people will Comment, kill me. Um, but Vic, how, you're you're Mayweather. All the cameras are on. All the reporters are writing. Why not say the specific store so that it could get out there on everybody's website and on on every every piece of news? No, he just said my baby mama has a store and she's trying to open up another store in another location. That's it. Like I don't know. I don't know. You know. I don't know, but uh, maybe he doesn't want his business. To maybe maybe he doesn't want his business to get out there because I don't know if you read that story on Deadspin at, about Mayweather and his past uh, serial woman battering. So I don't know. Good story if you if you want to read it. Yeah, I don't get into that whole domestic violence thing. So that's not even going to entertain me because I killed myself the last time. I even read that Yahoo Sports, uh, I think it was Ioli that wrote one on the on the mother. And, no, man, you should, that, you should, you should because it, it, it basically, I guess the gist of it is how everyone is giving him a pass for the shit that he's done, including, the you know, the, the city of Las Vegas and including some big writers. Like the guy that wrote the article basically – Puts the task on Raphael, Ioli. Yeah, but wait, giving him a pass at what? What are they giving him a pass at? Well, the, the whole, like, you know, that that Floyd has got a, got a lot of way with, Floyd has got a lot of way with a lot of stuff is basically what he's trying to say. And, but what and, and stuff? Be specific. I mean, read the article. Basically, that there's a, there's a list of laundry of Floyd being physically... Or, or being, I don't know, I don't want to say woman battery, but that's basically what he is. And it's not just his ex-girlfriend, it's not just his ex-wife or whatever, his baby mom, it's other things that have gone down. And basically what he puts guys to task, like Dan Raphael, you know, calling Mayweather's 30-day uh, stint in jail, you know, it's to, it's it's made him a calmer person or or what I only said. I think I only said that he was like, uh, he says something where he prays Mayweather for going to jail or some shit like that. So it, it's an interesting read. I, I think everyone should read it if you haven't yet. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really like getting into that domestic violence shit. Like where I'm from, that shit happens. It where happens, I'm but it, it happens. But dudes ain't making forty million every time they fight. Where you? From? I mean, but why? Why does money have to be an option? I it's mean, not money. It's basically him getting a pass, and he's tasking the big media people. That have given well, him a went pass. To jail. He went to jail, so he ain't getting a pass. Oh, well, he went to jail for one of the things. He could have gone to jail for a lot that's, of other things. But that's how the legal system works, though. You know that, right? Like, you don't okay. just go to jail the first time you get arrested. So the legal system lets you choose when you go to jail? 
No, no. Well, Mayweather pretty much did that. <laughs> but good lawyers, good lawyers, they do. Getting an adjournment is nothing out of the normal. It was out of the normal in this case. I'm going to tell you why. Because it was a high-profile case. So for that judge to allow it, knowing that the world was watching, kind of showed weakness. But showed in weakness, and also I, a lot, and also allowed the guy to make thirty million dollars on top of that. Okay, but but in everyday life, that's how it is. If you want an adjournment, you tell your lawyer you want an adjournment, and he. Well, what's an adjournment? I'm talking about sentencing. I'm not, we're not we're not moving the court date. Sentencing, Vic. They he do postponed it. He postponed it purposely so he could fight on May thir May fifth. But they do that all the time. I don't know. I Listen, don't know. I they think, do that all the time. If I think you should read it because he's basically saying people that are in the boxing media because they don't want to lose access to the biggest money maker in the sport won't take him to task. That's why I, I think you should read it. That. I hear you on that. But let me tell you, in everyday life, in everyday life, the judge just doesn't fucking slam the hammer on you. They sentence you. They give you a date. And if that date doesn't work because you have to get your affairs in order is the term that they use, you you get the date pushed back. That shit is not out of the normal. It's not. It's, I don't know. If you, if you read it, he breaks it down how it is out of the normal. So I, don't, I, don't I just mean, say, read it. I, I'm going off Cliff Notes right here. He's, he's giving you a breakdown of every court date, of every... I'm not objecting. Thing. I'm not objecting to... I'm just letting you know to read it because it's, it is out of the norm, and it is out of the norm from what I read. Not if you have money. It just if you If you have the right lawyer... Okay. If you have the right lawyer, it's not even money. If you have the right lawyer, um, but usually the good lawyers cost a lot of money. Is all I'm saying. But whatever, we beating that down. Whatever. Mayweather gonna do what he do. Look what he's been doing. I'm just saying you should read it. Everyone at the boxing fan should read it. Wow. Well, you should have fucking had the link. Tweet it out from the uh, boxing voice Twitter so they could find it. It's on Deadspin. I tweeted it out from my personal one, so it's out there. Well, let's take some calls, man. Two five three, you're live on the boxing voice. Who's this? What up, Ness? It's Lenny from the Northwest. Lenny, what up, man? Talk uh, to me. Yeah, I, I wanted to call in the other day and tell you about my Canelo pick because I was the caller that called in and said it was going to be Canelo by a KO or robbery, and it was obviously a robbery. I had Laura winning seven five. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get in on the other day. I know it's kind of old, but and I also had a question: uh, What's going on with uh, Andre Ward and will and will Rigondeaux leave top rank after this this fight? I sure hope so. <laughs> um, uh, Vic probably can answer that better, but I believe this is Rigondeaux's last fight. But Vic, uh... this is his last fight with top rank. He's still gonna be with Caribe. Uh, I wrote an article today about three places where Rigondeaux will probably end up, or three options for Rigondeaux. I said Golden Boy and Heyman. I said ring up a top rank for less minimum. And the last place I said if Rigondeaux really wanted to think out of the box, he'd sign with the UK promoter, being that being that people over there seem to love Rigondeaux and seem to complain that he's not on HBO or Showtime and things like that. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I thinking out of the box, if I'm Rigo, I, I definitely go to the UK, but that's just me. Hell yeah, listen, he should because he would take all three of them belts and it'd be hostage. And he'll be beating <laughs> he'll be beating UK guys up left and right for a long time. Oh my god. That'll be great. I wonder how long would it take him to put Frampton in the ring with him? Well Frampton's with I think Barry McGewan. So it might be a little tough to get him. But, I mean, if he signed with Hearn. What about Quig? What about Quig? Oh, my Quig, God. Quig's with Hearn. Quig's Quig. with Hearn. You can make that fight. Oh, um, but you think he'll sign the Hearns? I mean, it, I'm just saying, if he wants to fight over there, you know, if if they – I guess to say they appreciate his style more than I guess most of the fans here do. Uh, and, you know, they, they get 8K, 10K for, for guys that aren't even that good. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. The thing is this. Um, Rigondeaux goes over there and he's going to look a lot better than HBO's going to want him to fight over here because, you know, most UK fighters come forward. They they bring the fight. 
So they're going to make the fight with Rigonon. They're not going to try and stand there and box. Now, if we're talking Frampton and Quig, that's a different story. But you know, if he does sign, like he's going to get a couple of fluffies over there early. <laughs> Possibly, I mean, I they can see that. The fluffies. They get, especially if it's her, he's gonna flee. To, he's gonna give him fluffies. See how he draws, and see how the fans react to him. He'll get fluffies all day. I don't think it's gonna be right away versus Quig or Frampton. No, that's fair, and, and and I'm just saying that because I see on Twitter and I see on all the social media that you know, if Andre Ward was you know British or if Gary Morgandale was British, they'd be huge stars. I mean, it'd be nice to see, you know, someone test that out. Yeah, man, absolutely. So, uh, Caller, you got anything else for us, brother? Lenny. No, is this Lenny? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is Lenny. Yeah, you what's up? And I Lenny? wanted to say what's up with your your uh, your little sister station on Monday, you know, uh, your little sister show, the Coalition. They was hating on you hard the other oh, day. Oh, man, you know. All right. I Every, everybody has... Fans and everybody has haters, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I did to them. Yeah, I, I, was, I, I love both shows, you know, to help get me through the work week, but I, I, I couldn't help but feel the hate for you the other day. And I, I was right with you, man. I, I had it 7-5, Laura, all day, and I picked Canelo by knockout or a robbery, and it was a robbery. So. Yeah, man. Well, you know, I, I don't even want to talk about it because I've been getting attacked all week, man. I'm scared to check my Twitter. I'm scared to check Twitter. They got me, they, yo, they got me looking around corners, man. But Lenny, let me get to some other callers. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna get to one of these guys since, uh, damn, I ain't even know why, why they coming at me. What I do? What I do? What I do? If I was at the club, you know I ball chemo. This is the fucking ringleader. I'll, I'll break it down. You're the you. ringleader. That's what you did. You're the fucking ringleader too. That's a, that's a shame. You guys know. Don't make me get angry with you guys, okay? Angry? Yes. Angry. Hey, man. When, when, when Boogie Down Sean was destroying you last show, I thought you were about to break down, man. I thought you were going to cry. Whoa. Shit. I felt, I, thought, I felt a I, bit bad for you, Ness. I didn't even think that he uh, that he broke me down. Whatever you just said. I, I thought I won that debate. Wow. Okay. It's good to hear. No, nah, man, you didn't win it at all. And the fact that you actually put a poll on your website and you're losing now with it because Melo's ahead proves excuse how me, delusional you guys were actually on the show. Excuse me. Um, I didn't put it. I didn't put it. But um, I agree that it was put up. And the uh, last time I checked, I haven't checked in maybe, I don't know, three days. But the last time I checked, wasn't it 67% to like 64% or something like that? It's. I think right now there's a slight uh, lead by Canelo, yeah, and a few draws in there no, as well. No, but what's the percentage? It says the percentage. Say the percentage. Right now it's 49% Canelo, 40% Laura, 12% draw. Okay, so do the math, Hemo. Fucking Ness, idiot right Ness, here. I will do because the math if for it's, you. If, you if it's me... that much, if it's that much, I am not alone in this argument. And you guys need to realize that we're not always going to agree. Jesus Christ. We're not always going to yeah, agree. Yeah, but Ness, let, let me explain to you what the difference is. The people that said that Canelo won the fight, they were acknowledging that it was a close fight. Guys like Vic and myself, we acknowledge that it's a close fight. I had it 115, 113 Canelo. If somebody else had it that same score for Lara, I would not bitch. If somebody had it a draw, I would not bitch. But you, my friend, what you were doing on that show lashing out the fucking callers, calling them idiots, calling them that they're out of control, the fact that they were scoring it a draw, that they bitched out because they scored it a draw, let's talk simple mathematics, if you score it six rounds for one guy, it's a draw. So you, you yeah, wanna wonder and, why you uh, got so much haters, my I, friend? I, I this see, is the reason. I can't see Canelo winning six rounds. That's just the bottom line, Chemo. The problem here is that you guys... You guys live with this shit throughout the week. It's like burning holes in your fucking hearts. I don't know what's wrong with you. There's no I way don't know what's it could be. With you, dude. Listen, you listen, listen to your it's, own it's show? very simple. In my eyes, listen, in my eyes, in my opinion, I could not see Canelo winning six rounds. So I called Vic out. I didn't call. No one else. I didn't say nothing. Once the minute Vic got another purpose and said it was a draw, 
I was in shock. Okay? <laughs> genuine. I don't understand how you can have an attitude with me because of the way that I am emotionally looking at something. We are not the same fucking person, my man. You take shit a different way than me. You can't fucking fault me for how I project my feelings. Get a fucking Dude, life. All what you the did, fuck is all wrong you did was you, fault man? other people. So don't fucking pretend like you can't take it when you're dishing it out. That's all I'm who saying, man. Fu you fucking who the destroyed fuck people. You called Robert it. Ortiz fucking idiot. You know what I mean? And if you call him an idiot, the people that scored the same the same score, they're basically also this, you know, they have the same target on their back because that's what you're fucking doing, man. You and Beeb were out of Yo, control, man. You, I'm telling you. you. And listen, you, are you wondering why you listen, got all this backlash? You know what the that's problem the is? Reason. I'm putting it out to you. You know what the problem is? You are singling out. Me and Robert are friends, my friend. We talk way more than you and I. Way more. He's he stood here. He's he slept at my house. What are you talking about? And I explained that the very because next you're caller. On because air excuse and you're me, excuse me. Score, Hold on just, a minute. Not Hold on a minute. Robert. Hold on a minute, Chemo. I explained that the minute the next caller I think called in and he was like, "Yo, oh, you called him an idiot." I was like, "Nah, nah, that's my boy." I said that. I said, "No, it's different with Robert." He didn't take offense to that. He didn't fucking call me and say, oh, why you do that to me? No, he knows how the fuck I am. He slept in my house for the weekend, bro. Like, what are you talking about? I don't even understand what you're talking about. It has nothing to do with Robert Ortiz himself. Okay, it has so way let me ask you something. You shit do, you, do you not feel more confidence with a friend of yours? Do you hold no, shit No, it has back? nothing to do with it because I'm not on air with a public show talking about a oh, scorecard. It doesn't you, matter. You it's my, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Let me quote you. Listen to Let me. Let me quote you. Yeah? It's my public show. That's what you're not understanding. I can say whatever the fuck I want. And you so don't have I. to agree so with me. That's why, you're, you're that's why the, the phone line. Listen, that's why the phone line is open two times a week. For six fucking hours, the phone line is open. If you don't agree, I let you debate. I let you debate. I let you fucking say your opinion. I don't have to agree with you. You don't have to agree with me. That's the beauty of this. That fight, okay. close, lopsided, whatever you want. That's your opinion, and mine's is mine's. The problem is, there's facts. One judge had it crazy. Crazy. And nobody disagreed with you on that. But you're fucking... You're this, I'll quote you. Yeah, You said anybody that scores this fight a draw is bitching out. Anybody that scores an even round is bitching out. You're a fucking Listen. coward. That's what you said. How can yes. you not expect backlash yes. from this dude? Yes. I absolutely yeah. feel that way. Because the well, rounds... Now, now I'm explaining listen, to you why you got opinion, the backlash. Because you're fucking curious about it. Yeah, Shit. I am curious. Because, again, my opinion is my opinion. That's okay, my opinion. And you choose to put it on a public show where people call in. And you're, not gonna, and you're like, oh, I wonder why people are hollering me on Twitter. Dude, look at what you fucking said. You're calling people cowards. Chemo, chemo but you, you guys are talking about it for days. That shit happened Sunday, man. You don't have a fucking yeah, life. I didn't get the call in Sunday. So do you have now. a life? Because I do. I have a great life. I have a great I, job. You I have, have a actually. life. And I've already put that shit in the past. I didn't even want Canelo Laura talk this time around. I got a whole itinerary worth of shit to talk about. Like what? Rigandau? What's wrong with Rigandau? <laughs> Again. Get him, this, is reason, this is the true reason that we're debating. <laughs> you don't like boxers. And you like punches, and that's understandable. But I seen one man lay his game plan down and do it effectively. I will admit, because I'm not you guys, I don't know why y'all attack me the way that you do when I've always been honest. And you're, you're mad at me for being honest. You're mad at me for calling someone a name. It's my fucking opinion, bro. And I'm being honest, like you said, on a public fucking radio.
Accept me for okay. who the fuck I am and respect that I'm this open with you. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. But anyway, the point is you, you don't yo, like, yo, yo, you on, don't like boxers. You know hold on. You don't like hold boxers. On. You know I respect you, bro. You know I respect you and you no, face no, LRB listen, like Kimo, nobody Kimo. else did and you fucking went in there and asked the right questions, man, just like you did with Espinosa. And you know I respect you for that. But like you say a lot of times to Zick, are you fucking lying on the air? Are you are you lying to our listeners? I felt like you and B were manipulating the fucking listeners, man. And that's why I got to call in and call you out on your shit. It's okay, so, so let me ask you a question, right? You said you scored it for Canelo, right? Yes. So it was 115, easy. Listen to me. Listen to me. It was easy for you to come to a conclusion. You didn't go with a draw. You know why you didn't go with a draw? Because you didn't see a fucking draw. Now, don't you... The minute I stop talking, tell me, but Ness, I could see a draw. No, you can't see a draw because you didn't fucking write draw on your scorecard. You came to a conclusion. Fucking sick. Yeah, because I have man. one extra round for Canelo. Draw. Fuck a draw, man. Ain't no fucking draw. That fight was obvious. Even the punch hey, stats Ness, tell I, you that. You for, the, for the people. Fight, was, fight, fight wasn't obvious. Fight wasn't obvious. The people that love punch stats, even that shit tells you that. Fight wasn't everybody obvious. Had, listen, Danny, everybody well. gave was definitely the same not obvious. rounds. Listen, everyone gave the same rounds to the same people over and over. Everyone gave the same rounds to the same people, man. There Fight was, wasn't obvious. I think Fight there wasn't was, obvious. I think there was maybe two rounds that were in question. Those were the, what what you guys call, um, damn, I, the word doesn't come to me, Vic. What's a uh, close rounds? I guess close rounds. Swing, the close swing rounds. rounds. Swing rounds. Swing rounds. There was like two, maybe three swing rounds, but I doubt three. There was really like two. I don't have the paper anymore, but I was fucking writing the shit down. People were saying the same fucking rounds. They were giving people the same rounds. So the fight wasn't Ned. a draw. It wasn't a draw. He won. More you had rounds. Herrera, Danny Garcia, a draw the first time you watched it. That's that's on record on your show, dude. Okay. I yeah, had okay. a draw. And so wait, wait, were you bitching out then because you scored I had a, draw? a draw? You sure? Because I got my scorecard. I got my scorecard. Look. I you listen, listen, you, listen, listen. I can quote you listen, on the show. You listen. watched the fight three times. One time you had it a draw, second time you had it for Garcia, third time you had it for Garcia. I'm quoting you, dude. I'm sure you are. Your cycle like that dude went back. And heard a show. Holy shit! I think hey, I got. You, you got to give him credit. He's he came he came at you with facts. He came at you with facts. You got to give him credit. Yeah, I see. Hey, hey like your boy says, facts don't have emotions, right? Who says that? What's the name of that fucker that never called in again after uh, Broner got his ass whooped? James. Oh, James, the, the hater, hater, the check hater. Ja uh, James, James. You know he still be listening though. I will be seeing him on Facebook. Yeah. Anyway, man, I mean, again, like, you're just, you know, I know you were a bit emotional you. because on. you lost some cash, but come on, man, what, let's what, just be what, real what about it, you know, that's all I'm saying. March, right? March, March, March. Yeah, because I got my scorecard. I'm going to see right now. He said facts don't have emotions. <laughs> chemo with the heat. Ooh, chemo. Hate, hate, hate. Chemo, I got a... Uh... Wow, there's three scorecards here. Jeez. Yeah, one is a draw, my friend. I know this shit. Maybe. That's why I'm one of your longest loyal fans, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I don't have a draw on any of these three, but I will say I only have a full scorecard for <laughs> one of the three. Man, I think I was the fix was in, Vic. <laughs> I was altering yeah, scorecards. You, you, you Why pulled the have... CJ Ross on that one. Hey, hey listen, I, at least I'm being honest again. I'm not you. I'm being honest over here. Are you but, going to be a liar? But the the one that says Garcia rewatch, I have a 115-113. Garcia. Yeah. So that's the but one that's that the counts. second time you watched it. Yeah, well, well, that's the that's the one that counts because you watch it. Clearly, you're going to watch it now more open, you know, looking, no, I, looking for shit. Second, the second scorecard is terrible. I, I, that's a cop-out. You score a fight once, and that's it. 
Okay. You know, you know, the judges don't get a second chance to see a fight. Well, that's why I don't like I don't like rescoring fights. It, it, this is yeah. the first time I see it, and that's it. I knew that that uh, the way that that fight was, I had to rewatch it because I was going to be attacked just for being a Danny uh, fan. You know what I'm saying? So I had to I had to do my my research. I had to fucking look at it that much. You know these guys come at me with machetes and shit. Fucking weirdo. Yeah, well, that's like Rocky. Watching Pacquiao Bradley, I mean, you you're gonna rewatch it again, and then you're gonna watch it with the sound off, and you're gonna say this, and you're gonna say that. You're going in there with a preconceived notion of what you have to look out for. That's why I don't score That's fights again. Right, it's, but it's, 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 just just because you know what you're looking for doesn't mean you're gonna find it. That's the difference. Ninety, ninety, I don't know. Majority of the time you will, man. Majority of the time you will. You're already you're going in there with a purpose. You're not going in there. To, to, to see who the actual winner was, you're going in there to see, oh, is this really a robbery? Oh, you know what? Bradley could have won that round. So, that, okay. That's what I'm saying. So, so basically you're saying fine combing something doesn't work. That doesn't even make any sense. Mm -hmm. how, how, not, in, not in boxing. Not in boxing. That's, that's study. That's study. Why, why would you why fighters? Why do fighters and trainers watch tape then? What do you mean? Yeah. To fight, but not to score a fight. I mean, you're going to go in there with a preconceived notion. It is, gonna it's going to alter your subjectivity. That's Vic, what it's going to do. You're going to see if a punch landed or oh. not. That's it. You're going it, to it's, it. it's the human eye, Ness. The human eye isn't perfect. But what you you're think right. might have landed. Well, that's that's, landed. Why, that's, that's why I don't object to going back and rewatching a fight. You can rewatch it. I just don't think it's, it's, it's it serves a purpose to rescore it because it's I, I, I think that it most definitely does. It, it, it's the same thing as replay. It's the same thing. Nah. Oh, yeah, nah, you re nah, nah. Why? Because because the, what you're getting to because, watch because, it again, because you're, you're, you're replaying I, something yeah. that you're, so you're replaying. You're, no, 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 no. Wait. What are you replaying? Are you replaying? Are you replaying a a drop knockdown, or are you replaying? Oh, did he really land? 16 body shots that CompuBox said, said they did. Matter. It does matter. Doesn't it matter. does matter. Because you don't know if those punches okay. landed. You're not there. You're like, come on. Hey, listen. Well, then that's your opinion, Vic, because to me that just sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. You score the fight real time. I mean, if they miss a knockdown, that's something you replay. But if you're going in there thinking that you missed something or that, oh, it, HBO, it was HBO bias that made me score that round for Pacquiao. I mean, that's that's fucking hogwash, man. Okay, that's why there's so many people that call in and say that, you know, the announcers might have influenced them. They well, that's on them. Learn how to score a fight. Don't pay attention to fucking Jim Lampley. Okay, so now, so now, so then, so then that makes it okay for me because you're telling people now learn how to score a fight. How are they supposed to learn every time on the fly, Vic? I mean, if you're a hardcore boxing fan, you should know how to score a fight. Let's be real. Here. Every let's be real. Here. Let's be real. Here. We 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 had 50 people call in. We had 50 people call in last week. Say this is how you score a fight. Ring generalship. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. So it's obvious people there that call in know how to score a fight because they're breaking it down for you. Vic, and you're I'm absolutely saying? right. And you're absolutely right. But I can give you one guy that called in and has emailed. And he just called in, like, I don't know, maybe a show ago, maybe last show, and said, we should do a show on how you score a fight because scoring fights are so subjective. He it's said subjective. that. Is, and like Kimo, who's still live, Kimo's still live, like Kimo said, the fuck? it's on the tape. Right, Kimo? It's on the tape. He could go back and find that. But we know it's subjective. Yeah, that's, that's, why re that's why we're watching it going in with, oh, with a, a mind of thinking, oh, maybe Tim Bradley di didn't rob Pacquiao. You're, you're going to look for things like that. Like That's what I'm saying. You're, you're just clouding your subjectivity even more. No, Vic. No. That's uh, not definitely. How it works. Definitely. Absolutely. And, Why'd and you go watch the Danny fight? Doing because the same thing, you're doing the same thing that Kimo accused me of doing last week, saying if you go into a fight, your subjectivity, yada, yada, yada. Man, get the fuck out of here. Watching a fight. Is doing homework, man. Watching oh, homework. homework. Okay. You 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 went you went to rewatch the Garcia fight because you wanted to see if it really was a draw or however you scored it because people were gonna come at you. What homework were you doing there? You wanted justification on why Danny won the fight. 
So you went in there with Absolutely. a preconceived notion. Exactly. You just proving your point, proving my point right now. Absolutely, Vic, because <laughs> because I'm gonna be attacked by twenty something people, right? And they're all gonna have maybe twenty different reasons. So I have to know to fight up and down. Don't you understand that? It's real for me. They love you. They hate me. And that's okay. A lot of people don't love me. Lot of people okay. don't love me. Trust me. Say hello to the bad guy. You'll Trust never me. see another bad guy in boxing like me again. I could bet that. I could bet that. Never. I'm terrorizing people. I'm telling you. That's what I do. Hemo. Talk slick because you're all the way up? in fucking Dubai hiding under a pyramid and shit. But uh, when he comes I'm just to New saying York, the truth, man. We got to cut out the double standard shit. You know, one week you're giving credit for a jab, the other week you're not giving credit for a jab. One, oh, one day you're saying, no, 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 jab. no, no, Don't lie. I'm consistent. You know I mean? I'm consistent with my jab. I gave Malinaji credit. I gave um, Trout credit. Uh, who else I what gave? What about Herrera? Credit? What about Herrera's beautiful jab? No, you even said I, it on the air, dude. I, I can't give I a guy credit for jabbing that I gave all night. Him. I gave him the rounds that I gave him. I had it 115, 113. What more you want from me? A victory. So you telling me? So you telling me? No, Rob, you're on. Rob, you've been unmuted. Rob. Oh, I, I know. I, I know, man. I was waiting for you to uh, finish your point. You probably got the text after uh, you unmuted me. Oh, oh, my bad. Um, yeah, no, you know, I had it one fifteen, one thirteen. If if you if you tell me that no other people scored at one fifteen, one thirteen, well, damn, I'm biased. But guess what? There's a lot of people that scored at one fifteen, one thirteen, a lot. So, more who scored it for Herrera? Huh? Because that was a jabbing masterclass, dude. Okay, I mean that's your opinion, but but I also said on that show that. Every good fighter has that gimme fight. Everybody. Everybody. Canelo just got his. He just got his. He got his. No, he didn't. And he got his. No, he didn't. He yeah, got, got a draw. Should have got a draw. <laughs> he should have got a loss. He should have got a loss. He should have got a draw. He should have nope. got a draw worse. Go ahead, Rob. Clearly you got something on your mind. So, uh, you know, I uh, I was actually listening to an HBO podcast earlier, and Harold Letterman was, it was an interview they did with him, and uh, he talked about, like, scoring criteria and stuff like that, and, and he said the same thing Vic is saying, which is, you know, you watch it the first time, you're not going to have any preconceived notion, you're not looking for anything, you're just scoring it the way you see it, and, uh, you know, he's probably right, but... I did go ahead and score it just literally just now. And, I, you know, I got to say, it changed my opinion a little bit. Um, I got rid of all the even rounds like you wanted me to. And, well, they went to Canelo. He won 7-5 the first time I had him winning 6-4. Uh, six, six, or Sorry, 5-4 with three even rounds. This time had him winning 7-5. Um, okay. You know, I, hey, thought Rob. He, I thought he was the ring. Yeah. Um, and I'm okay with that, but you didn't see a fucking draw. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see a draw, man. I'm gonna tell you and, why. And man. that's it's, why I'm upset that it's 12 percent saw a draw. Like I don't know. Why is that wrong, though? Why, why is that wrong? That that means it's a, it's I, I just, if it's 49 if it's 49 percent. If it's forty-eight percent Canelo, forty percent Laura, then it, it's co close to fifty-fifty. So if you give one more round either way, guess what? It's a draw. And that's I what, hear that. That's I what close that. fights are: seven-five either way or in the middle. I hear I that, but all I'm saying is this: the eleventh round is. I saw the eleventh round as super, super close. If I, you know, if 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 uh, uh, what's the name? Laura would have been a little more aggressive. I probably would have given it to him, and then he would have he would have won the fight, or it would have been but a draw. Rob, I'm sorry, it would have been a draw in my card, but it wasn't, you know. Rob, these nope, men nothing wrong with the draw. These men did so little; it wasn't hard to see what they did. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Because when Laura was on the outside, 
Canelo wasn't hitting him. When Laura stopped, Canelo would hit him or hit him on the arms or the elbows or the hip, but that's when he would be doing work. When Laura would get back on his bike, Canelo wouldn't be hitting him. So how is it hard to see the activity? It was so little. The fucking punch stats tell you it was like a round where six punches land and one one guy had seven punches. It wasn't hard. You know what happened? You guys clearly were bored and your attention wasn't on the fucking fight. If you seen no, the see, I, 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 I focused on, on the rounds this what? And if I did find myself... Dude, uh, I, I scored 12 rounds. I was watching a fight. I, 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 sorry, I didn't hear that big. But see, this time I rewatched it, man. If I found myself you know, drifting off and not paying attention, I started the round over and fucking focused on it. And this time around, seeing it a little better on actual, on, on a screen where I could see their faces and all that, I had, you know, I, 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 you might be right on that, Ness. You might, you, you, you actually, you are right, man. You, you're right. There's Listen, so I'm little gonna, going on, but it's, go pretty, on it, it's a lot easier. You're right. I'm, I'm going to repeat what you said. It's easier to see what's going on because so little is going on. The only difference I saw on TV versus live was that I felt Canelo on those close rounds was the ring general. Whereas everyone else is saying, well, Laura was the general. He was obviously making him oh run my God. or making uh, Canelo oh my chase God. him. I saw, I saw Canelo pushing him back. I saw, I saw Laura Yo, straight up running scared as opposed to defensively strategizing. I thought it was a boring strategy, but this time I thought it wasn't necessarily the strategy. He was scared to engage. That's what I saw, and that's why I gave Canelo those close rounds. Rob, I completely forgot that you covered that fight. That first card, that first score card of yours is hogwash. You, you, there's no, listen, I I do not agree with what takes place every fucking fight. Scoring a fight live, you ain't going to see everything. You just ain't going to see it. I, I've been to too many fights. I, I That first score card, don't you, no wonder you've seen it so obvious the second time around. It was on TV. You're never gonna see the yeah, TV, man. I hate I being at the fight. And, I hate being at the fight. But here's the fight. problem, though. The problem, Ness, is that I saw it more clearly on TV the second time around. But I saw it more clearly the opposite way of you. But so, that's okay. You know, well, let's meet in the let's meet in the middle a fucking draw, which is what Vic has. No, no, no. We're not gonna meet in the middle because you came to a conclusion. Your conclusion wasn't a draw, and it's okay if you you scored it for. You, you, you know what my conclusion was? Neither no. guy won the fight clearly. That's my conclusion, and I think I that's did. I think that there was, and yeah, he, but I don't think there was a clear winner. Okay. That's why I wouldn't be mad if you had it Canelo or Laura, but I just think neither guy did enough to win, clearly. Vic, look, the poll is out. The poll is out, okay? You're in the 12% minority. You don't have that's a fine. point. But, Nestor, if, there, if it, there's a lot of 7-5s one way and a 7-5 another way, all it takes is uh, one round for either that, guy for it to be a draw. 7-5 is a close fight. What the fuck don't you understand from that? Yo, listen. I love that you're finally yelling. It wasn't a 9-3. It wasn't a 10-2. It was a 7-5 fight. One judge had it 7-5. The other judge had it 7-5. You put those two together, guess what you get? You get a 6-6 fight. They were overruled by the moron that scored at 117-111. So there you have it. If you average out two judges, it's 6-6. It's possible. You hear me? I hear you, but I don't understand. 7-5 okay. one way, 7-5 another way. 7 they, plus 7 is 14. Oh, my God. It's it, two so judges. Cool. Come on, man. Like, I don't get it. The poll. I'm not, I'm, told, the, I'm not losing the poll. I'm not, I'm not expecting to be in the majority, but if we're going off the two judges that scored at 7-5. Don't you understand? The average of those two judges is a draw. <laughs> Average of those two judges that no. scored seven five is no, a draw. No, no, because I don't think you're grasping the concept. A draw. Of the you score the fight with those two judges. The average rounds they get to each guy is a draw. Didn't he? That's what it is. No, didn't he just say that shit? Like, why are you repeating yourself? Because it's, I'm in the minority. Of course, I'm being the minority. It's on tape, chemo. Yo. He 
doesn't understand the voting system? Listen, you, the president Look, the you voted for. The only thing we for, conclude from this poll, it was close. That's it. It's no, a close no, fight. That's, that's the only thing we can conclude. No. Kimo, uh, Kimo, on record, did I ever say that the draw would be the majority of the poll? Did I ever say that? No, never. I'll tell you, I'll never. tell you what we can nope. conclude from this. That Vic doesn't have a voice. He lost the poll. What? But the poll wasn't against me. It was against you. You were the one crying robbery. Yeah. This poll proved you wrong. I'm sorry, this man. The poll was against you. Matter. The numbers the poll was against you. You claimed robbery. There. More you claimed people claimed robbery. More people came to a conclusion. Justice. Laura clearly won with the straight lefts, and he landed 53 jabs, and he got robbed. The poll proved you otherwise. You didn't get robbed. It was a close Thank fight. You. Thank you. But the poll also proved... Damn. The poll also proved that a draw... Is in the fucking minority. Twelve percent. How, how is it in the minority when it's split right? Not even down the middle. There's a slight edge for Canelo. Vic, do the, the math. Is, look, the point here is I'll eat my crow because of the poll, right? I was wrong, but you were wronger <laughs> because you're twelve percent. How am I wronger when you cry robbery? <laughs> and. And 61% no, of the people no, disagree man, with man. you. You in the 12%. Everyone came uh, to a conclusion besides you. Not everyone, obviously. Obviously not everyone came to the conclusion. I, I, Ness, Ness, I don't, I don't think you get his point. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to rephrase Please, this please someone kick he, some knowledge to this young man. His, 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 Vic is saying that what this Rob, poll proved Rob, 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 was that listen it was an even ass Rob, fight. Listen half to people listen went to me. Way, Rob, listen to me, Rob. People went oh the other God. way. That makes it an even fight. I'm trying to save you here, Rob. Listen, I understand what Vic is telling me. I understand what the fuck. I understand. I understand it, but it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. I understand what he's saying. He's still. Twelve percent. That's all. That's good enough for me. That means very that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Why not? Why because not? Really if, if 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 people are split down the middle, either way of what their opinion is, then Vic, shit. If the, if the poll result, if the poll results, if, if you take out, if you take out, percent out of a hundred, you're not getting the point. Hundred forty-seven. Oh Take out the draw then. Take out the draw then. See what happens. If it's even, then guess what? It's a draw. As I'm saying. <laughs> he wants to take out the draw when he scored it a draw. What the? Because you're fucking over here saying it can't be a draw. You're not conclusive. <laughs> if you if you fucking if you take the two judges, the, the one that scores the fights correctly, seven five plus seven five, the average of their rounds is six six, and it's a judge. It's a draw. That's it. Okay, okay. We've spent far too much time on this draw. Because <laughs> you're, no. you're the one that keeps longer. bringing it up. Definitely I, longer. I got, something <laughs> that'll, I got something that'll make us argue again. Um, Chris Algieri Pacquiao, how upset are you guys about this? I'm not upset, first of all, because since Chemo's on the line and he feels I project my feelings to the listeners, listen, guys, feel how you want. I'm not upset that uh, he got the shot. I'm actually I'm not glad. upset either, but it shouldn't be in Macau, though, man. Yeah, I, I'm. You know, I'm not happy with that. But he's Chris Algieri right now. That's not beating rules line is not enough to negotiate Pacquiao on U.S. soil. Uh, yeah, but I'm I don't understand, the, man. I'm Algieri. not upset at the fight. I'm upset that it's on pay per view again. What what did you say, Vic? You were talking about. I didn't hear you. If if Manny Pacquiao is going to fight twice a year and it's going to be on pay per view, I think we should get a better fight than Chris Algieri. If this was on regular HBO, then. Well, it, well, you know, you know, you know what? Let me t let me explain this to any casual fan that stumbles across this within the weeks to come. The reason that I am not upset is because I already know what it is with top rank. Like, they're gonna. Just like it, what it is with Goldemore. They're going to do business with who they do golden, uh, business with, whether that's Banner or Leha, whatever. They're going to do business with their guys. And amongst those guys that they have available, I, I'd rather see Algeri than fucking Marquez again or um, Bradley again 
or Rios again or Mike Alvarado. No, just fuck it. Give me Algeria. Fuck it. Fuck it. Listen, and hear what I'm saying. This is my opinion, okay, guys? Don't kill me about this. This is just my opinion. I know you guys want that Marquez because he knocked him out. I get that. It's cool. I'm saying, me, I'd rather something new. I need a breath of fresh air. I mean, it is a breath of fresh air. It's something different. That's why I, I kind of like it. Uh, but, again, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, when, when he'd be fighting on HBO pay-per-view, he, he'd give us some fights on, on on regular HBO that weren't the greatest. Uh, for a guy like Pacquiao that only fights twice a year to force the fans to pay another 70 bucks after all the 70 bucks we've been paying or 60 or whatever it is, top that with Mayweather Maidana, another possible Cotto pay-per-view, and then another fucking possible Canelo pay-per-view if he decides to do that. That's a lot to ask for. And I, I, agree, I agree with you 100% on that. As a poor man... Yeah, I'm mad that it's pay-per-view, but I'm a fucking, I'm a boxing junkie. <laughs> I got scars on my arms, man. I'm a junkie, so I'm going to buy it regardless. And if you think about it, Pacquiao has never, ever, 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 ever faced a guy like Algeria. Never. So it's 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 really fresh, man. It's really fresh. He, he's never faced somebody that's going to be pumping a jab and is going to have that much movement. If he could run away from Ruslan, who's a plotting, come forward, always in your face guy, he could stay away from Pacquiao, who jumps in and out and takes rounds off and claps his hands together. It could probably be another controversial fight. You know, I mean, he took Ruslan's shot and got up and fought with one eye. So, yeah, Pacquiao, he hits hard. But remember, like, it's been a while since he knocked somebody out. And he has to... Margarito you to do damage like that and Chris Algeria ain't sticking around for that shit. You're not sticking around for that. I'm not saying I'm picking him, but it's a fucking interesting fight in my eyes. I don't think anyone else gives him that type of fight. Could he, be. You're lying. I mean he's got length, he's got range. Uh I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I think Pacquiao Pacquiao do a better job of cutting off the ring than uh, than uh Probotnik off did. Timo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the only problem, the ass. only problem is with Algeri is that he doesn't really have power, man. And you need to have at least a bit of power to keep Pacquiao off of him. I mean, we saw with the Bradley fight as well. Like, eventually Pacquiao is just gonna step on the gas and start walking you down and just fire off the combinations, man. So, I mean, I the speed know. is gonna be an issue for Algeri as well. I kind of agree with you that it's an it's a fresh look, but I don't see it playing out well for Algeri, man. I don't know, man. You see, Bradley had a lot of success. I don't care what anyone says. He had a lot of success in that first fight with fucked up ankles, and Algeri moves a lot. He moves a lot. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Algeri proved a lot in terms of his chin with that Ruslan fight. So boxing, that's his thing. He's a boxer. He's a well. And, and Kimo, remember this. You know I love boxers. I just love boxers. That's my thing. <laughs> so, you know, um, you know, Pacquiao, to, I mean, yo, I like boxers. And uh, and I think he can stay away and jab the shit out of Pacquiao, maybe. I don't know. That's, 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 that's a tough task. That's a maybe. tough task. Yeah, it's going to be tough to do that for 12 rounds, man, seriously. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, that's why it's Macau, too, right? What? I said that's why it's in Macau, too. Uh, it's it's tough. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. Ruslan, because he doesn't have any foot speed or, or hand speed in general, you know. But I Pacquiao's a whole Pacquiao, different animal, man. I wonder if Pacquiao's gonna fucking test. Yeah, it's Vada. Because Algeri tests. It's Vada. It's Vada. Yep. I'm fucking shocked. It's Vada. I'm fucking shocked. Whoa. Huge. That's good. That is good. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to some other callers because Kimo giving me a lot of dead fucking air over here. Come on, man, we've been going on for like 25 minutes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you already ran out of gas. You're already done. Three <laughs> I round can go fighter. for days with you. Yes, you Three know, round man. fucking no fighter. <laughs> Bye. Yo, man, I'm going to sleep. Have a good show, guys. Peace. Right. Thanks, brother. Let me see here. Let's get, let's get my man Robbie on. Man. 
people always hating on me and Robbie. Introducing the hard hitting ringside Robbie. Hey, good evening, Ness, Vic. First of all, uh, wait, 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 Robbie. Full disclaimer yeah. here. You don't have to okay. agree with nothing I said. Don't you agree with nothing I said unless you really mean it. Because <laughs> okay. these guys will come for you, Robbie. They will be at your doorstep, believe me. <laughs> well, hey, I, I'm okay with that. Um, uh, I and besides, I already talked about how I seen that fight. I didn't leave my scorecard on, on the show because I didn't get a chance to do that. But I definitely had scored for Laura. But anyway, uh, you were saying that... Um, this Macau fight is not going to be HBO2? Because they've been advertising it was HBO2. Have they changed that? Uh, two of the fights are HBO2. Gilberto, Gilbert Ramirez and Zhu Shiming. The, the rest of the card, I guess, will be on Unimas. Brian Valoria and uh, okay. Riggin So we're not going to get to see Riggin Dow? No, not till 11 o'clock at night for Unimas. Uh, that sucks. Big time. I I I I hope the hell he gets out of uh, top rank and um, signs with somebody that'll put him on TV. Um, I mean, this guy has been uh, knocked around the boxing business like there's no tomorrow because nobody likes the way he fights. I happen to enjoy the way he fights because he wins. Uh, I mean, uh, that's one of the reasons why I picked Laura last week. Laura wins his fights. Uh, you know, uh, and I, I don't have a problem with Pacquiao Algeri because Algeria is going to present problems that Pacquiao hasn't faced. Um, I don't like the fact that it's pay-per-view and it's in China, but according to the article I read today announcing the fight, Aram has said from now on Pacquiao will fight at least one year, one fight each year in Macau. So I guess it's something we're going to have to deal with, you know. Um, and you're right, all the pay-per-views are adding up. I mean, uh, you've got Cotto could do a pay-per-view, Canelo could do a pay-per-view. Uh, I hope it's Cotto Canelo, to be honest with you. I'd love to see that fight. Um, but there's starting to be too many pay-per-views, but what can you do? It's part of boxing. Um, so, okay, so there are fights on, a on HBO, too. Just the Rigondeaux fight won't be there. That's, that sucks, big time. Um, you know? Um, and I wonder, a after the Laura Canelo fight, like I said, I want to see Cotto Canelo. I wonder what's next for Laura, because uh, uh, he, he deserves to have a good fight. Any idea what he might do next? I don't know. I mean, that's tough. I mean, would you, would you want to see an Angulo rematch, maybe a Bellina rematch? Uh, what else is out there? I mean, he's not going to fight the Charlos. Is no, there... I would like to see him fight um, a Molina if one of the Charlos don't don't get a chance to fight him. But well, they're not going to fight because they have the same trainer. So you know, I I, I understand that. Um, but I think Laura and Laura and the Charlos both are in difficult positions because you know, uh, 154 is kind of messed up because Mayweather still has one of the titles. And, of course, we don't know what he's going to do. We know he's going to fight May uh, Madonna, but he's got two fights after this. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he's got a big surprise. He's got a big, he, he's got a big surprise for, uh, he's got a big surprise for uh, May, right? Whatever that is. Yeah, that's what he says, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I don't have a problem with Pacquiao Algeria because I think Chris is going to present him some real problems that he hasn't seen. Um, I don't think he's ever seen a fighter like Algeria. Um, and I'm like, Ness, I don't know if I'll pick him, but I, I think it's going to be interesting to watch. I mean, uh, it's, it's a tough call. I mean, a Pac Pac Pacquiao has foot, foot speed to catch up to, has that foot speed to catch up to uh, Algeria. Um but Algeria is long. He can't move. So, I mean, it, it, it's a fresh it's a fresh fight. Yeah. Oh, and it, uh, do you guys have an update on what uh, Keith Thurman's going to do? I mean, uh, we know Porter's going to fight Brook, um, but I wonder what Thurman's going to do next because I, I think eventually you're going to see Porter Thurman in the ring. 
I mean, that's what everyone wants. Um, Keith Thurman, I don't know, for, for a guy who's, you know, had a good solid 2013, might only fight one more time this year, and that, that that's pretty terrible. Well, yeah, it is because uh, uh, Julio Diaz, I mean, he, he didn't have much work to do there. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I like Keith, but I want to see him in against somebody that's going to give him a fight. I mean, and I don't know where you're going to get that from, honestly. Um, I, I've heard he's not he's not going to be on the Mayweather undercard. That, that's what Espinosa said. So I don't know where you take him. <sighs> uh, don't you just love the business of boxing? I mean, uh, they have opportunities here to put people together on different cards to make them more interesting, and they choose to spread everybody out uh, and and put different cards together where the big names are on them, but they're fighting different people. Yep, and that that's probably going to be that September 6th card in San Antonio. You're going to yeah. have, or, or wherever it is, San Antonio or Cincinnati, it, it, there's like a struggle going on for that fight right now. Uh, Broner you know, wants it to... Isn't Bro that that the card that Broner's supposed to be on? Yeah, Broner wants it to be in Cincinnati, but Golden Boy wants it to be in in Texas. Uh, well, they wanted they wanted to be in San Antonio because if they use the Alamo Dome, they could get forty thousand people if they have the right people there. Yeah, but they're not. This is going to be uh, it's going to be another Garcia. What's his face? Garcia Peterson double where Broner well, fights okay. someone different. Matisse fights someone different. You know. The rumor for Matisse, he yeah. might fight Mike Perez. I mean, our boy from Newark, Mike yeah. Perez. Yeah. What? Well, and, uh, yeah. and as far as Lamont Peterson and Garcia, they need they need to get together so Danny can move up to 147. And uh, as far as Broner, he needs to fight Matisse. If they're not, if Broner's not going to fight Garcia, he needs to fight Matisse. I don't know. <laughs> it's just this is a year of uh, setting up. For the future, I guess, for, for Golden Boy. I, I mean, hell, if I was a matchmaker, I'd be putting some of these fights already together. I, I, I Some of this I just don't get. And, I, and I've watched boxing uh, ever, since I, ever since I was like six years old. So uh, I, I, put a lot of, I put a lot of time and effort into this sport. And uh, this year, some of these fights don't make sense to me. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, man. This Garcia fight... Well, and I tried to get him on the show, guys. I tried. I tried. He said he ain't doing nothing to media day. Uh, I think Danny is kind of um, he's he's uh, ducking cover here, Ness, because he knows he's getting a lot of garbage for this fight, and he's not going to give too many interviews until probably the fight is over with. Because you know, right now he doesn't want to answer all the questions. That's what it comes down to. Well, I mean, you know, he he's he's. You know, he's staying focused, and uh, they're looking to make a, a good impression in this fight. You know, so uh, I guess he's projecting that hatred, you know, into the gym, and he wants to look good. I mean, it is what it is, but uh, I was going to ask him. I was going to ask him. You know, I was. But uh, let me get to some other people here. 619, you're live on the Boxing Voice. Who's this? Yeah, what's up, man? That's Ali from Dago. What up? What up? Yeah, man, about this Algeri Pacquiao fight, I think it's a good fight, but I do understand why a lot of people don't want to see it because there is a lot of different guys that Pacquiao can fight. But my, my whole thing is I just look at the fact that it wasn't that long ago when everybody wanted to see Ruslan Provotnikov against Pacquiao, but now oh. Algeri beats him, and now it's a cry that this, is, this isn't a good fight. When, when you really look at it, it's well-deserved. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though he hasn't fought a lot of guys, but this is the same guy that everybody was like, oh, this is a great fight, Pacquiao, uh, Ruslan, you know, a slugfest, and now he gets beat. And now I just don't, I just don't think it's fair to Chris Algieri. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I think he is deserves that, it. You know what, man? And listen, I, it's that these guys don't like boxes, man. They want to see knockouts. And I'm no, I, I think I think it's more of we've seen this before. We've seen this before. You know, Victor Ortiz beats Berto. He gets a man with a fight. Robert Guerrero gets Berto. He gets a man with a fight. I mean, even Jose Cito Lopez, when he beat Ortiz, Ortiz was supposed to get that fight. And, you know, Jose Cito beat, Lope, beat uh, 
beat Victor Ortiz and got the Canelo fight. I mean, I'm never going to fault the guy that wins a fight and takes a fight. I'm not faulting Rod Salka for taking a fight. It's just for, for, for Manny Pacquiao to fight twice a year, to be on pay-per-view, it just rolls me the wrong way. I mean, I like matchup, though, but I just think, I don't know. You're only giving me two fights a year, and that's one of them. And, and, and again, I'm going to repeat, I understand that. I understand that. You know, that's uh, it's fucked up as a boxing fan, you know. And like I said, it, it costs a lot. But I like the fight. I like this fight. Yeah, it, and I want to say, too, I think um, to sell this fight, I think Bob Aaron really needs to stack the card. Like, it, it really pisses me off, like, it seems like he just doesn't give a fuck. Like, he's just on some, I'm rich, I'm going to throw whatever I want well, together. He said that you know to what I'm you, saying? Though. He said that to you. You could YouTube, you YouTube that. He said it to you. The undercards don't matter. The fight fans well, well yeah, I, I know that. I, I've seen that. But but I'm just saying, it, it's just crazy. Like, me, I think, like, he, like, the fighters he had under just his banner alone – he could stack this card. Like, he could have Nicholas Walters against Nonito Donaire. He could have uh, the Mexican-Russian Gradovich against Lomachenko. I mean, he has people he can put on this card. Yeah, that's not and it's just, it's just real real irritating, man. So, yeah, that's all I got, though, man. But, yeah. Yo, I'm glad you said it so I don't have to say it because I feel the same way he feels, but I know that's never happened. Nonito Donaire, Nicholas Waters on the undercard. Mm. I mean, that would be smart too, right? Right? Why not try to market Donaire over there with the with those uh, you know, fans? Mm. A lot of a lot of Asians don't really like Nonito. Well, that's that's one way to get them to like you. Knock people mm. out in front of them. Mm. I mean, I don't, and I don't think he's knocking Nicholas Waters out, though. <laughs> I'm, I'd actually pick Waters in that one. Waters was a bit sloppy, man. Yeah, but he can bang, and Nonito looking like a straight dud since the rigging that fight. Straight he dud. That too, but he, he was very wide at time. Very wide. But, uh, yeah, Donaire is on a decline. Let me see. 7 6 0. You're live. Who's this? Yo, what's up, man? It's KT from Inglewood. What's going on, man? What's going on, KT? Yo, first of all, uh, you did your thing on the LRB interview, my nigga. Good, good shit on that shit, bro. You did Thanks, your thing, bro. man. Thank you, thank you. But, uh, but I, I'm I'm from LA. I just went to this uh, press conference with Mayweather and, and them. Uh -huh. I seen Schaefer there. Yeah. Uh, it was a cool. It was a cool. It was a cool ass turnout, man. There was a lot of people at that motherfucker. Um, a lot of. What surprised me was how many how many Mexicans there was with uh, TMT shit on, man. I didn't think there was that many Mexicans that bought that shit. But uh. They had Kendrick cool. Lamar perform there too. What's up? Yeah, Kendrick Lamar performed there too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But but when he came, it was early. And the shit didn't start till like an hour and a half, so people were waiting there a long time. When Kendrick played, it wasn't it wasn't too many people there. But uh, anyway, uh, for one thing I gotta say: this nigga Madonna, man, he he really winning me over the way his attitude is. Man. He really don't give a fuck about Mayweather or being a B side or any of that shit. Yeah. And uh, Garcia, Madonna. Garcia was talking weird shit. Madonna took a selfie. You seen that? Yeah. <laughs> he took a selfie with fucking Mayweather in the background. Like, and you got to see his face. Yeah. Yo, Madonna, he's funny as hell, yo. He's funny. He tried to eat that candy bar. You could tell he's funny, but they're not letting him be him, man. I heard they was pushing each other, though, Vic. Yeah, then it was in San Antonio or Chicago, one of them. I don't remember which one it was, but I know it wasn't this one. It was the one, uh, I guess, on, on Tuesday. Did you get to see the video? Yeah, it wasn't today. It wasn't today. I think it was Chicago, actually. But did you see the video? No, nah, I didn't see the video. I haven't had a chance to check it out. Yeah, man. So, KT, it was good out there? Yeah, man. It was. It really surprised me. It was a lot of motherfuckers there, man. This nigga, this Mayweather, he, he got a lot of fans. A lot of fans that ain't black, dude. He got white fans. 
fan. It surprised me. I didn't I didn't expect to see that many fans wear all his gear and shit, but the Argentinians they were doing that little ole 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 shit. <laughs> yeah. That was loud. It was, it was cool. It was mad cool. It was. It wasn't as big as the, the Canelo conference, but it was still hella big. Mm, that's uh, interesting. Uh, it was, yeah, man. It was mad cool. When I seen Schaefer and them chilling, he was talking. He was talking to some people and shit. But uh, anyway, about this uh, Pacquiao Algeria shit y'all talking about. Uh-huh. Me personally, me personally, I think it's a hand pick. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real, but. I think it's. I'd rather have this hand pick than motherfucking Marquez Five. You feel me? I, y- y'all said it's new, and I agree. With that. I think some new. It, it's gonna be in Macau. You already know it's gonna be. It's not gonna be a good. I kind of like the matchup. I wish it wasn't at a catch weight. I think if you know, Pacquiao would have went to 140 to do it. It would have been a lot better. But you know what I'm saying? Point. I'm a hardcore box fan, just like you. So I'm gonna watch it anyway. You know, I don't mind Algeri moving up. His chin might be better, but yo, that's messed up. Um, KT, thanks for calling in, brother. I'm gonna get to some other people. That's messed up. He's only making a million dollars, and he's going to Macau. I think he's making more. I think he's making closer to two. I think that's what he held out for. Uh, no, nah, it was one five, and then uh, I think he held out and got more closer to two. Look, terms were not disclosed, but DeGuardia said Algeri will earn a career-high payday of more than a million dollars. It will be more than ten times his previous purse, which was a hundred thousand. Yeah, I think uh, I think he held out because he 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 made it. Pretty much told Michael Woods that you know. It said more than a million. Yeah, I think it's closer to two. If it was two, if it was two they would have said fucking two, but. Yeah. I think it's it's uh, closer to two over one point five because he told Woods he wasn't you know going to Macau for one point five or whatever it was initially offered. So I think he got closer to two. They finally smartened up though. They finally smartened up because Mayweather been doing this low balling guys and Robert Guerrero he he broke he set a precedent three million. That was a precedent. Everybody was always getting a million five. I think it, I think if Algeri would have beaten one more credible guy, he could have got more money. But I mean, you know, he went from a hundred thousand to no. close to two million. I'm so glad we're talking about this because uh, my source told me they got Algeri for three fights. Really? <laughs> God damn. Three fights. Well, my, my thing is, the Guardia wanted this fight bad as hell. Like he he went on record no, stating, you know, don't. don't. Don't get it confused. I'm not talking about top rank. I don't know how many top rank got on top of this. Uh, you made for beating rules line. He got three options on him. Who did Banner? Yep. Holy shit. Oh, I guess he must have known it was a tough fight. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a lot of wow. fun. So my boy uh, Andre. I will no longer mispronounce his name because this is my last hope at beating Canelo because. Um, I'm hearing Canelo Kirkland. I heard that for November. It's out there. And uh, you know, while I, I that. You know, a whole bunch, um, I think Andre's the best shot, and uh, he wants a piece of uh, Canelo. I heard November San Antonio actually is the front runner for uh, Canelo's next fight. Pretty. Uh, I I think for, for for you know if you're not Floyd, obviously you make the most money in Las Vegas because of the taxes and because of the casino fees and shit like that. But I, I heard people that went to Vegas said there wasn't really any buzz for for the fight with Canelo and Laura. I mean, if you put that in San Antonio, man, those those, those people come out just like they did for Trout and uh, yeah, the, the whole thing of being a pay per view star is to do it in Las Vegas, according to these. Charts because you're right in, in Texas this thing would have been awesome. Yeah, I mean that you get you get forty thousand people in there. That's that's some shit to sell right there. But that's called promoting Vic, and these promoters don't want to do that because guess mm-hmm. what? now the B side is also known whether they like them or not. They're gonna know not to want to watch them again, or they're gonna want to watch them again. 
And uh, they didn't put them on there. They didn't do it there. But interesting, um, I want to read this quote. Uh, Andrade said, you know, that he read some comments that Oscar De La Hoya made after the Laura fight that there is about, a, you know, a line about 10 people deep to fight Canelo. So Andre says, but what he forgot to mention is that that line forms behind me. And uh, I like that this kid is ballsy, but so was Laura, right? And he didn't get it done. Yeah, and Canelo is number one uh, WBO ranked contender for that belt that uh, Andre has. You think he takes that shit? I no, doubt. Another, I don't another, think so. Like Southpaw? Dang, I mean, he, he could. I mean, he's he's done it before. He told us, you know, he, he's he's proven to us before he that he's not. Want, that, it he doesn't matter, man. Laura's belt. If he didn't want Laura's belt, right, which would have ranked him to get a Mayweather rematch, he ain't going to want – he don't care about that WBO ranking to fight Andre for what? It's not worth it. I mean, I agree, but I'm just saying, I mean, don't, don't put it past him to take a fight like that. If this kid was smart, he'd go fight Molina in Mexico. I, I would leave. I would leave. I would go and fight – yo, he would – oh, my God. It would probably be like 100,000 people in there. He would, he would do amazing. Him and Molina, yeah. out there, easy. easy. But, you know, then we could watch it on HBO. Fuck, send Jim Lampley out there to get the suntan. Fair enough. That'll be a good fight. Good fight. Let's take it back out to the streets. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Aerodyne Namikin or something like that? Yo, that's me, man. That is you, brother. Talk to me. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, I'm, I, I've called before. I'm Cuban. I've told you. I live in Canada. What's up? Oh, what's up? Yo, man, what's going on with the sport, man? How come, like, no rematches ever get, get made, man? Like, I thought rematches got made when the fight was clo close or if it was, like, a draw or a, or a controversial decision. Now it's only if the fight is, is entertaining. Like, nothing else matters, man. Like, why can't there be a Herrera... Garcia rematch. Why doesn't nobody want that? Why is there no Laura Canelo rematch, man? Because the casual fan is afraid of, of, of those type of fights that look that way. So they're not like, going to sell. I'm, I'm, I, I'm already done to whether, whether who won the fight or whether Laura actually got robbed. I thought he got robbed, but apparently people are divided on that. But, like, the least they can do is at least a freaking rematch. Like, I paid fifty nine ninety nine, and I'm a university student, man, to see who the best 154-pounder is. And I didn't get an answer that night. Neither did anyone. That was controversial as shit. Well, in a lot of people's opinion, you got an answer, just not the one you wanted. That's crazy, man. I don't know what's going on with my fighters, man. They're getting shit on. What's up with Cubans, man? We're good. <laughs> and now we're like, we got Regan Dia over by... China, not even on HBO, man. Cheating on this, they're shitting on this guy. And this guy's like one of the best fighters right now, pound for pound, top five, definitely. It's that stigma, man. It's that stigma that the Cuban fighters are boxers and they don't want to engage, and they and they pour that biasness through the airwaves, and then people start to believe that, man. But boxing is that, man. Using the entire ring, if. If it wasn't, the rings would all be like 15 feet. They I gave don't get you it, man. space exactly. to move so you could dance, man. Ali used the ring, man. I know, man. Dance. If Ali could beat like anybody like as easy as Lara was able to, in my opinion, beat Canelo by just moving around, he would do it all night and he would win. But like the reason Ali made entertaining fights is because his opponents knew how to cut off the ring, which Canelo didn't at all, man. That guy sucked my dick at cutting that off. I learned how to cut off the ring in the, in the in the gym. It's super easy. Even Angulo did better than him at cutting off the ring with a little side steps. Like that guy was so bad at cutting off the ring, and now they're like, they just they just want the, the boxer to fight. They're like, oh, don't run. Come. These fighters are lazy, man. These fighters are lazy. Instead of learning how to cut off the ring, they just want the fight the guy to give up his his advantages to to like to beat you, like. Why would he go toe to toe to toe with you when he can beat you from the outside? Like he's already not he knows he's not stronger than you. Why would he just go in there and get knocked out? He can just try to box you from the outside and use his strength. Like I don't get that man. 
Inflation. People get mad because he uses his superpower. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, no, man, let him. He should just go in there and get knocked out. Like, why would he do that? He wants to win, man. He's just going to use his strength. So dumb. I bet none of those guys would fight a guy like that or wait him for, like, 10 pounds the day of the fight. They'll be like, no, no way, man. They'll do the same thing Lara's doing. They'll fucking move away and try to hit him from the outside. Oh, man. These guys are crazy, man. These guys are crazy. Well, Aero oh, Dynamics, get... I'm glad we gave you, uh, you know, the platform to uh, Thanks, call man. in and, and vent, brother. I know, and they're just shitting on. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. They they shitting on all, on all my Cuban fighters, man. That's that sucks, man. Well, Gamboa good. got knocked out. <laughs> I know he got knocked out, but because he was stupid, unlike Laura, he went in there when the guy was stronger than him, and got knocked the fuck out. Laura yeah. was smarter than that. At least he stayed outside and tried to use his strengths. Like that's I'm telling you, that. Cuban that's fighters can't win because they laughed at Gamboa, and, and they now yeah, they I booing should. at Laura. They can't win. I know. Crazy man, crazy. All right, but at least I know some other callers, I don't man. care. They're not being regal. Peace out. All right. Daniel Gill, what up? <laughs> Yeah, you boys. What's going on, brother? How's training camp? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was actually there was some um, open sparring with Gil and uh, Jared Fletcher uh, here in Brisbane just the other week. So oh, yeah. It's going how, good. How do you look? It's going good for both of them. Yeah, man, good. And um, Fletcher looks good, man. I think I uh, I think a few people are underrating. Old Fletch, man, and they, they don't know a lot about him, but um, I think he's gonna give, I think he's gonna give your boy a bit of trouble. Who uh, isn't uh, Quillen fighting him? Nah, Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs. Jacobs. Oh man, Danny yeah, Jacobs. whatever. That ain't my boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that yeah. is not my hey, boy. Fletch. Listen, I think I've only interviewed Danny Jacobs one time. <laughs> nah, man. I got him a few times. People are like. People are shitbagging on on Fletcher. He, he he kind of stayed amateur for a little bit long, but he's starting to come along nicely now. He was a really good domestic pro here. He um he beat Adonis Stevens and uh, and James DeGale to win a Commonwealth gold medal. He captained our Olympic team. Like he uh, I think he'll be right arising to the occasion here because this is yeah, a big shot. Yeah, so. but he gives no credit for a win over Adonis Stevens in the amateurs because Donna <laughs> Stevenson had like 19 fights, I think, and he was like 20-something when he started. He was, he was a rookie. He didn't become what he was or is now till he got with Emmanuel Stewart. He lost yeah, to well, Daniel Boone he, back then. He, he, he won, he won a, 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 a Commonwealth gold medal, which is a reasonably good achievement. But I'm just saying, he's been coming along nicely, um, so I think he's going to do good. But anyway, on to... Until what I want to talk about, I don't want to talk about Gil because I think he's going to lose, unfortunately. You know, <laughs> um, I, I, you know I'm I'm kind of like getting excited for this fight. I've been even asking Vic, like, you know, am I going to this one? Because, uh, you know, I was I always liked Gil. We actually interviewed him a bunch of times. I mean, he's a pretty good guy. He's even been on video through Australia for us over here. And, uh, uh, he's he a great guy, that, man. And he's yeah, if he, he hadn't had that loss really to well. Barker, I think I would have still been pretty high on him. Um, but he's got a pretty good chin, man. We he, he if anything, he's gonna answer some questions. I don't think that he he can win because again, I seen what Curtis Stevens did to Golovkin, and it, it, Golovkin took it like he, nothing. So a guy with the power of Gil, he's gonna eventually get brought <clears throat> down. But Gil's gonna present some problems or. Uh, you know, propose some questions, in my opinion. Uh, some new things, too, that nobody has The, the thing he's is... He's pretty crafty. He's pretty crafty, and, you know... He's crafty, you know, the volume want. puncher, he's tough, and I think I think that volume punching is going to work for a while, and I think his toughness will take him so far, and I think that, like, I think he'll probably win over a few Americans um, getting a shot over there, but I think I think you need more than toughness and volume punching when you don't have the power to keep the glove going away for 12 rounds, because, I mean, you need to have either, like, you know, toughness and super like a really good punch as well to keep him at bay or maybe like really elusiveness and and toughness but i mean 
he's not super elusive. I don't think he's not like some super elusive slick boxer that you can't hit. And he he is tough, but he doesn't have some great power either. So I think eventually he'll he'll give him a good fight, but I think he'll probably get stopped around the ninth round. No, I, but, I, I, I mean, a- Abel Sanchez said that this is their toughest fight because Gale can can take a good amount of punishment and go for twelve rounds and throw volume punching. So. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the odds makers don't see it that way. I think Golovkin might be a ten to one favorite, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, um, I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to officially eat, uh, take my crow from last weekend. I didn't, I didn't get the sound bite because I was pretty, I was pretty angry about what happened. But I guess I still need to officially take that crow. <laughs> Since you, oh uh, man, I'm. I watched it again. I watched it again, and I scored it exactly the fucking same, man. It was complete <laughs> bullshit. But I'll do. I'll do the right thing. I've actually started writing an article. I'm so furious. I started writing an article on why people don't know shit about boxing or how to score. But I don't know how well that would be received. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You gotta put. You gotta put your, your. You have to express yourself. That's what these guys don't understand, man. Every we're not all gonna agree, man. We're just not all gonna agree. But you have to express yourself. That's your right. Uh, and Ness, I wanted to say Ness too. I don't want to bring back up that argument because it was fucking horrible to listen to. But um, with the whole draw thing, I mean, it doesn't really make sense to be more okay with someone scoring it for. <laughs> For Canelo, because that's further than what you think what happened, and I don't think scoring a draw is necessarily being indecisive because he's, he hasn't like scored an even round. He's just scored each round as he saw it, and it happened to turn up as a draw. You know, uh, I don't see a draw. I, I mean, I, I scored, I scored at uh, one sixteen, one twelve. I gave rounds four, um, seven, eight, and nine to Canelo, and I thought the twelfth might have been a swing round, which would have made it uh, one thirteen, one fifteen, but. I think a draw is quite a stretch, in my opinion. But, um, I mean, if that's the way you saw it, he's not sitting on the fence. Like, he's still made a decision in every round. So Yeah, I made it, and the thing is, I, I picked Canelo, and I had Canelo up 6-5 going into the last round, and I gave that round to Laura. So, you know, I guess, also, I guess take that for what you want. The, my two swing rounds were the 5th and the 12th. I gave the 5th to Canelo, and I gave the 12th to, uh, to Laura. Listen, I guess what needs to be said, because people clearly think that I'm, I'm belittling you or your opinion or whatever, what needs to be said here is I hold Vic at a higher standard. I feel that <laughs> he should know how to score a round. And if you score well, didn't... 12 rounds, you ain't coming up with a fucking draw. That's all I you can... Come on, dude. Uh, it, 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 mathematically, you can, dude. Come on, man. Lock him up. If, well, if, I, I should have just scored the fucking 12th round for Canelo, so I could have came out here and said Canelo won. What happened? I should have scored the 12th round for Canelo, so I could have came out, came out here and said Canelo won. And that would have been. You should. But no, I didn't see him winning the 12th round. I didn't see him winning it. I didn't see him winning the 12th round. I'd be lying. I'd be lying to myself if I see if I said he won the 12th round, just to. Just to further make my pick better. I don't know. It is what it is. Hey, Vic, he asked if you scored Madonna over Mayweather. I did. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that's just, that's, 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 don't, don't be so concerned about the draw here then. Fuck. <laughs> I had a 7-5. Seven, 7-5. Five, seven, five. Man. I know, I know other people had a 7-5 too. 7-5. Seven, five. Seven, five. Yeah, yeah go, go, check, go check. I guess there's consistency there then. Go I check. Know. Uh, Go check boxing b- boxing news online uh, for what's his face uh, whatever I- I'll get his Twitter. Uh, uh, but he, just, collect, he collects scorecards. He collects scorecards from media, from fans, and there's people that scored it the way I did. There's fight score collector. Yeah, fight, fight score collector. That's his name. Were you there, Vic? Where? <laughs> were, you, were you scoring it? No, were you scoring it live? I was. TV. No, I was scoring on TV. Right? No, no, the reason I ask is because sometimes when you're there, I mean, I don't know how close you get if, if you have credentials or not, but I mean, I watched um, Cotto Mayweather from from like the most expensive seats there were that you could buy. They weren't floor, they were lower stand, they were $1,500 seats. And from where I was, with the atmosphere and a few beers, 
I thought Cotto won that fight. I came home and watched it on TV, and then I gave him, I gave Cotto four rounds. Um, but I, I know a lot of times when you're live, the aggression is a lot. Uh, it's a lot easier to score for. Um, I then went there. So I thought maybe when you scored Maidana, you were actually live or something. But no, no, I was, I wasn't there. I was in my house watching the fight. It was live at his house, though. Uh, it was live over there too. That's what happened. It was a, it was a fight party, probably. He yeah. was occupied. Um, he, was, he was pre. Oh, I mean, you, you can you can shit on my score card all you want, but the fact of the matter is, there's a rematch for a reason. So. Oh, 100 percent. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, he had a lot of success. I thought I was I was like shocked. You know, he had a lot of success, and um, he. Hey, Jim. I gave him the first. I gave him four of the first five rounds. Hey Jim, I got two yeah, scorecards no. over here for that fight, and I got it 116, 112, 115, 113. I don't know what Vic's in. And you 115, see, 115, 113. Look, at least look, you you just gave Vic credit for his consistency on horrible cards, and I, at least I'm consistent for calling him out on horrible cards. How, how is a draw a horrible card? You you're fucking so out of loop with this thing, like. You're 12%, Vic. You're on the bottom of the top. It doesn't court. matter. It doesn't matter if I'm 12%, but more people scored it for Canelo than you did. And at least, yeah, and I'm, that, I'm, that I'm, means your scorecard is shit then, because you, but, but Vic, more people had Canelo winning than you did. What you're not understanding is that they, they at least came to a true. You call point. you call my scorecard shit, but more people pick Canelo to win than you pick in order to win. So maybe you need to take a look at your scorecard, my man. You wanted to stay neutral. No, I didn't stay neutral. If I remember. I, Maybe I should give the 12 for Canelo so you, I can make you a happy man. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to myself. I didn't think he won that round. And you know what hey, You know boy. what also needs to be said? That Vic is sticking to his guns on this because he picked Canelo. <laughs> so, so, so Exactly. So why can't you respect my court? My court that, 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 you know, that 12 round. I gave, Can I gave Laura the 12th round. I know. I know. What I'm saying is that's how genuine you are, that you picked Canelo, and you didn't give Canelo the round that he needed. I, I should have, so I would have been more fucking decisive. But no, I'm sticking with it. I, I had it a draw. I'm not going to change it. Yeah, I hear you, but you know, that, to me, that's the neutral way out. I, I don't know how you guys score, but um, like when I score, I, I use a little notepad, and I flip each page. And I, I, I mean, sometimes you do keep a bit of a mental t tally, but I mean, I don't keep and it's, it's exactly the same way officials score. You know, they fill out a card and they hand it in each time, each round. They don't have a big list there where they can look at how many rounds they've given to each guy. So, I mean, you, you do have some idea, but, I mean, uh, I think, you know, you, I don't think what Vic's done is indecisive. It's just, I don't know whether he writes it all down in a row or whatnot, but when I do it, I write it and flip the page, write it, flip the page, write it, flip the page, um, so that you're not trying to make up rounds or look for rounds for a certain fighter or anything like that. Um, and that's the way the officials do you it as well. They hand the card in. But I, I, don't, I don't think him scoring at a draw is, is <laughs> not a, a – I mean, I think it's a stupid decision, but I think it's still decisive because he's, he's in six rounds for each fighter, and that's just the way it is. He's not scoring a round even. Like, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going back to say, oh, I gave six rounds to Canelo. Maybe I should give this to Laura. That's just – yeah. Yeah. So I mean, what I, don't, it is. I, don't, I don't go back to, to, to look at my run. Yeah. I mean, hey, and, um, numbers don't lie, I man. Just... <laughs> numbers don't lie, but when but when it's split down the middle, there's got to be draws. Like you're not gonna get it, the, the fact. The, the, what the poll proved that this fight wasn't decisive enough to pick a clear winner. That's what it proved. It also prove. <laughs> Kim, Kimo's gonna call in next week and say, "See why they give you shit." It also proves only dummies pick draws. <laughs> and it also proves that more people had a Canelo winning than you thought. That's good. That that is good because because my, my so that what that means what that means my six six was a better scorecard than your eight four. There was still forty percent, forty percent that agreed. That's good enough. That's forty. Not, not to not not for, not to me for someone that called this robbery. Twelve percent out of a hundred. That's fine with me because more people who didn't agree with you because you had this a robbery and clearly it's not. Well, Jim agrees with me and he watched it twice. Yeah, and there's plenty of people who that think Canelo won, and there's plenty of people all that hit me in Australia. <laughs> He's your, score right. is your score is worse than mine for these people. 
I, I, I don't see how your score is better than mine's when you're in the 12%. Because <laughs> more people pick Canelo to win and you're screaming robbery. That's what why. That? What is that in the school grading system? Like an F to the 10th power or something? Oh, because you had, you had 40%. That's an F2, motherfucker. 12%. 40% is an A now. Okay. <laughs> you're still not in the majority, bro. That's what that 40%, matters. 40% <laughs> is legitimately an F. But yours is an F to the tenth power. <laughs> hey. So maybe we should poll people on what they scored the fight. Let's see how many one eighteen or one sixteen. Oh he wants another poll. Well, because hey, I got the better scorecard, but I'm sure not many people had it one sixteen, one twelve. I'm kill God. Nevers don't lie. <laughs> it's all right though, because the next curse lives on, and that's all that matters. You I suck know. in picks Look, this I'm year. I'm starting to think it's real. I'm starting to think it's real, man. I, I'm going to have to get... Yo, where's Aerodynamics? Aerodynamics, email me. You Cuban. Help me out, brother. Send me something, man. Jim, let me get to some other callers, brother. Thanks for calling in. Right, right. See, you, see you, mate. All right. 414. You're live on the box of voice. Who's this? Nestor, it's Scotty in Milwaukee. What's happening? Scotty, what's up, brother? Long time Scotty, no talk. Up? Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I've been working. I've been, I've been listening to all the podcasts, but uh, I haven't been able to make it live and, and call you guys up. But, Nestor, Nestor, you are killing me with your GED math today. <laughs> they are so right. Vic, Vic is so right, man. I mean, one, a robbery is like Pacquiao Bradley when 90% of the world sees it one way and it goes in the other direction. That's a robbery. When you got basically 50-50, 40-48, or 40-60, that's, that's a pick em. And a draw is okay, man. A draw is fine. It's not like he watched the whole fight, didn't score every round, and said, yeah, that was pretty even. I'll just call it a draw. He scored it, just like you've said on this show, Scotty. a thousand times, round by round. Scotty, and if you how score does round that... by round, and it winds up, then that, that's a draw, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Scotty, exactly. Scotty, how does that even make sense? Listen to me, all right? We're going to continue to use your system, right? You said the fight, all was, right. the fight, according to the poll, was more like 50-50, right? So that means Vic... No, what I, what I'm listen, saying. no, 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 hear me out, hear me out. They put 100 of all us right, on an ahead. island, right? You're in the Canelo bunch. You got 47% or some shit like that, right? What is it, 48% for him? 40% for me. And Vic got 12 fucking people, including himself. He's not going to survive. Was close. That's my point. It was close. When you got no, a split no, like no, that, no. Compare, no. that split, compare, compare that split to the Pacquiao-Bradley when you had 90% Pacquiao, 10% oh Bradley, and nobody gonna, said I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you, right, the way they teach you in kindergarten, okay? I got 40 <laughs> cents. That's what I was going to do to you. I got four. Listen to me. I got 40 cents, 48 cents, or 12 cents. Which one do, do you want? And keep in mind, we're in 2014. You can't even buy gum with 12 cents. Right, but here's the other thing, right? What Vic said where his card is better than you, he's right. Because if you had, if 48 people out of 100 says Canelo wins, and a draw is closer to Canelo winning than Laura winning, then he's closer to the right answer. No. He's 100%. Exactly. Right. Laura, exactly. Thank you. That's mathematics. And that's where you're wrong. That's, that's mathematics. Why we on this. Okay, it's Scotty. Simple that's simple mathematics. That's why we don't agree on this, because to me, coming to a draw, you're just not being decisive, man. But that's not true. You are being decisive. You are being decisive on every round. You watch round one, all right, 10-9. You watch round two, 10-9. At the end of that 12 rounds, you add them up. It just happened to be 6-6. Six, six. It's not, not like you watched the whole fight. Not that, in this fight. Not in this fight. Not in this fight. They was doing too little work, man. It wasn't hard to score this fight. Uh, well, it was hard for some people because I've seen some people give 10, 10 rounds. I mean, wow. there was people giving 10, 10 rounds. 
Ten Ten and 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 again, Robert knows that I love him, but Ten Ten is just some weird shit. That's just there's people out there that's no, worth Ten Ten. I'm not saying Ten Ten, ten, ten in the round. Ten, I'm saying the fight a draw. I'm not saying Ten Ten in the round. That's that's a cop out. I'm saying if you score twelve rounds and it happens to be a draw, then that's a fair card. That's a draw. I'm not saying that you're scoring all the rounds Ten Ten. That's crazy. Look, I'm not saying look. that. You score round by round, Scotty. a winner and a loser. And that's what, would, what would you like me to do? What would you like me to do? Apologize to Vic because no, we need no, we need to get no, past this not, shit. But I, you know what? That's, I listen to Sunday's podcast, man. I swear to God, I thought you, I thought you bet your new house on Law or something. You were so mad, I couldn't believe it. There was to way me. worse robbery than that place. No, crazy. not to me. Not to me. This was very clear oh, to me. Way worse. Yo, Scotty, I scored this, this fight one sixteen. One twelve. That's what I scored it. It was clear to me. I, it was clear. Hey, I, I admire you for your passion. You got a good boxing mind, and I'm glad you stick to your guns. I got you with that. That's good. But, but, man, were you hot? Ooh, I swear, I thought you had, I thought you had money invested in Lars' career I was or something hot. like that. I was. Hey, him, I him, and Lou, him and Louis the Coopers got got a side deal. He's, he's getting a percentage of Laura. That's what it was. Yeah, it seemed like it. <laughs> but, that's all. I, that's all I had to say. But but that's it. But yeah, I thought I thought it was a close fight. I didn't think it was a robbery. I was I was just pissed off that Martinez judge. I mean, that was ridiculous. The other two, I was fine either way with those cards. Yeah, the, that For that judge that judge would have been the other one to have it. One sixteen, one twelve, Laura. But they had that <laughs> in <their> pocket. <laughs> Definitely not 116. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know, 40% seen it like me. I'm not in the minority. I don't feel like you, I am. You are in the minority because the majority picked Canelo. What are you talking about? Yeah, you no, far, you're but, farther but on the edge, a, the, right? If you got all the way to the left is Canelo and all the, and the middle is a draw and all the way to no, the dude, if we're all If we're all left wingers, you're, you're more Canelo. towards the right wing, dude. <laughs> Scotty, that makes no sense. That's that true, though. That's true. Hey, Vic. Hey, Vic. You said if you go all the way to the left and it's Canelo, all the way to the right is Laura, and you're in the middle, you're closer to Canelo. How the Absolutely. fuck is that even physically Absolutely. possible? You're in the middle, Scotty. Vic, I'm, ne I'm neither conservative or liberal. I'm, I'm <laughs> that a draw is closer than rooting for the guy who lost. I can't explain it any better. I don't know. I'm sitting here driving my car just shocked. I swear. Before my you guy. Up, like, oh, my head was my shaking. guy. Listen to me. My guy did not lose. That's why whatever you say, I'm not comprehending. Because he, he, he did lose. Like, he did lose. I've seen him win 116, 112. I, I understand that. I do. And but. I, listen, I haven't gone seeking. I didn't go to Fight Score Collector to see what big name reporters. I didn't do that. The only reason I know Steve Farhood scored it the same is because it came out on my television screen. I didn't read shit about this fight after that. It doesn't bother me. It is what it is. On to the next fight. Uh, but I am hurt for him because he won that fight. And I bet you there's a lot of other people out there with more years doing this than me, that also had it for him. Well, I do. Like I said, Ness, I, I admire your passion. I was I was throwing on thir on uh, on Sunday, but well, I guess we got to agree to disagree with, uh, on this one, like you just said. Not to the next one. <laughs> yeah, man, rigging down. We got to talk rigging down. <laughs> I like Rigondeaux. I think he's got a, a lot of talent. I don't know why these people hate on the Cuban fighters. I like a knockout as much as the next guy, but when you see a guy as smooth and as slick as a Rigondeaux, I think that's great, man. I, I wish he got some more airtime, personally. <laughs> Look, Robert Ortiz, didn't he just get, a, get on here and say he had... Oh, no, that was Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer says he had a, a robbery. No, a draw, but think it's a robbery. That's weird. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, my my, my score is not going to change. Yeah, you, my, want, you, you, want, you want me to pick a winner? Have a rematch. Don't put it on pay per view. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I would love a rematch. I would love a rematch. I thought it was that close that that a rematch would be okay. I mean, Canelo Cotto would be good. Canelo Kirkland would be good. 
any mix of that would be good, but I would be good for a rematch. What I don't like is the Maidana Mayweather rematch. That's a waste of everybody's time, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't like um, that fight. They're, they're, they're not going to do uh, Cotto yet. They're going to they're gonna hold off till at least... Uh, I think till May. Yeah, till May or June. Yeah, well, that's all I got. I'll let you guys get to some other callers. It was good to be back, and I'll, I'll try and be back on uh, on Sunday. All right. Man, Fight School Collector doesn't have it up yet, Vic. What do you mean? The, um, the, the, the scores. He tweeted me. I, I retweeted it. I'll see if I can find it. It, it says uh, I came to the homepage, and it says uh, Mayweather Madonna. I don't know. I, I'm trying to get you because he, he goes on. He doesn't go to his uh, page anymore. I think uh, Boxing News Online, that, that British website, uh, British magazine, actually brought him on board, and he posts the stuff there now. Uh, see if I can find it. Well, I'm on his Twitter, so I'm going to look for it because I want to know about it. Um, but Willie Nelson... Yo, a lot of fighters going back to Friday Night Fights. Wow. Willie Nelson is back on Friday Night Fights. He's going to be fighting uh, Grejada. You uh, you heard about this? I heard about this. I have no idea who Grejada is. He's supposed to be a big puncher or whatnot. But, uh, I don't know. Somebody got to call in and let us know. I seen Rugo on the line, but he's gone, man. Let's see, 317, you're live on the box of voice. Who's this? Three one seven. What they do? What they do? What's happening? What's up, brother? It's your boy DJ Punch, man. Been a minute, man. What's what happening? Up, DJ Punch. Yeah, man. I had to call in and defend you, man. Laura won that motherfucking fight, one fifteen, one thirteen, man. You already know what it is. I don't watch that shit two motherfucking times. Laura won that motherfucking fight, man. You gotta know something about boxing to be talking about boxing, man. Yeah, they don't agree with us, man. We're in the minority. <laughs> hey, but shit, when it comes down to it, man, it's supposed to be about who's landing the clean, effective punch, and who, you know, out there, ring generalship, man. Two words, ring generalship. If you own in the ring, you win in the motherfucking fight, man. Point blank, period, man. And it's your DJ Plus second in. Let's go, man. It's real shit being spoken this time. Yeah, they don't they don't believe us, man. I I I don't even you know, I can't say nothing else about it. Vic had it a draw though. Yeah, and I and I ain't even done yet. I just called in because 'cause I'm driving on my way to the crib, put me on hold, I get back to the crib, throw me back on and I'm about to I'm off. Okay. Put me four zero seven. What's going on in boxing MD from Florida? What's up, How's it going? Um, first thing I want to say is um, I really do appreciate your um, questions you asked um, Stephen Espinoza and, and Eller, Leonard Ellerby. Um, Thanks, bro. You asked some serious tough questions, and I mean honestly, Stephen Espinoza, his response was normal, like how I expected him to respond, even though he ducked the Rod Saka question, which was hilarious, but um. Leonard Ellaby, his demeanor is honestly disgusting. Like the way he, he acts towards reporters, I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't appreciate how he carries himself. Did you get that impression? You know what's funny? When when uh when Robert Garcia was saying all that stuff at the presser, it, it clearly got under Ellaby's skin because when he introduced Floyd, you know, I'm gonna keep it classy, I'm gonna do this, here's T V E, blah 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 blah. Come on now. When when is Mayweather and Ellaby kept it classy? Let's be real. I mean, it's good that someone else is actually joining at these guys, and uh, and I'm liking it. And it's it's just you know they contradict themselves all the time. It's crazy. I, I I just don't get how you claim to be. And people on YouTube. I mean, you see, and this is what I'm saying when they when when I say that people attack. I don't understand. Like, how could you be mad at me for asking this when? I'm not the one says I does a, a, a million pay-per-views or I sell more pay-per-views than Pacquiao or I'm not making a Pacquiao fight because 
I deserve the lion's share. It's 60-40. Take this check. So show us. Don't talk about it. Be about it. I'm a Mayweather fan, but I'm not going to let no man lie to me. Niggas need to man up, man. It's crazy. But Vic, I'm yeah, and at I this agree. Twitter poll I right agree here. with you, and, and we're also we're not going to see the um the pay per view numbers from this next fight. Guarantee that because it's it's not going to do better than it did well, the first time. Honestly, he already he already said that they're no longer releasing pay per view numbers unless it does a significant amount. Like if it unless it breaks records, they said that's crazy. That's propaganda. That's propaganda. propaganda. That's crazy. So, and Showtime's a public company. Definition of propaganda. That's amazing. That's amazing. Shit Only in boring. boxing can you get away with that. Well, the thing is this, though. You know, to play devil's advocate, um, he said that the problem is people assume. So when we're going to say assume, he he's talking about clearly when a group of writers got together and started writing that if they don't sell over a million pay-per-views, they're losing on this uh, Mayweather deal. But the actuality you know, is that we don't know. We didn't see it. So that's yeah, where but I mean, that's, that's you his know. stance. Wait, wait a minute, Vic. That, that's his stance that you guys don't know the contract, so you're making assumptions and all this hysteria is being caused off of your assumptions because basically he's saying you don't know how many I got to sell to be right. That's fair, and that's yeah. fair. But, but again, I mean, they're, they're a public company. Things like that, should I would think it should be public record. And I know Aram sometimes have, hasn't disclosed Pacquiao numbers when they sucked, and we've called them to task. I mean, it should be the same way. And, you know, even this C Cotto Martinez one, it's they gave us the numbers even if it wasn't a success. I mean, no, they they did. no, 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 they didn't. Yes, they did. 315,000 buys. They gave us two numbers. I remember that. It was 425 or 375, right? No, 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 no. 315,000 was the end number. Oh, that mu wow, okay, so that must have came out after the show we did? Yeah, yeah, they, they came out with that after everything was calculated. Okay. But, uh, I mean, I, I, that's, that's a rarity from top rank, too, if it doesn't do good. So. Well, you know, at least we got the axe. It's a chain of events, man. You know, you, you keep asking about the numbers, they're eventually going to have to find a defense to that, and now that that's what it is. They're not going to release them. Yeah, man, I feel you. Uh, yeah, two more things I want to touch on real quick. Um, there's this, con this no connotation that um, you can either love a boxer or a tactician. Like, I don't, I don't agree with that. I, there's people who don't like Lara Style and love Floyd or love Brigham now. You could, like, you could pick and choose, like, who, like which fa fighter favors your eye. I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I disagree with you on that a little bit. I'm not telling you I what like to like. Yeah, you're saying like you you know you favor one style or the other style. You favor power or a boxer. That's I not like always boxers. true. I like boxers. They're thinkers. They win. The, I mean, I, I don't want to listen. I, I I guess we just think differently, you know. I guess you got to take a couple of punches to the face. I don't want to be hit, so I like boxers. No, so, no. So I'm saying you could like both. Like you could say, man, like this boxer. He, what he does but I do. I but do some... like both. I do like both. I, I very much enjoyed M M uh, Matisse Molina. It was one-sided in my opinion, but I enjoyed it. I enjoy Rios. I enjoy all those types of guys. Garcia's not a fucking boxer. He's too flat-footed for that. I enjoy plenty of uh, punchers, but I think boxers are superior. Okay. Um... So, um, what's the next for Canelo? You know, the options are like Kirkland, Cotto, and I think Oscar La Hoya actually said Triple G. And um, yeah. did, did he? Am I, am I correct on that? He threw that name out there. Mentioned it. I, I mean, I, I like Canelo, and I picked Canelo before, and I'm a big fan, but that's he doesn't want to go there. No, I <laughs> think I think I don't I even think, think Oscar... Daniel. Gets, I think Oscar's just trying to bait the network to see is he going to be able to do business with HBO because he, Cane, what? Canelo Triple G, that is not a good fight. No, and, and um, like Daniel Gilly, when I, I saw the road for 20, uh, what is it, the 
Road to Road to Golovkin Gill, yeah. Golovkin Gill. Yeah. Um, I like Daniel Gill. Looks like a nice guy. I feel bad for him. Like when you see his family, because he's gonna get punished. Like <laughs> fuck. Like Triple G does shit to people. Like he took Martin Murray's soul. Like that's soul taking. What do you mean, Matt Macklin? Matt Macklin. I mean, Matt Mallon. That's what I'm sorry about that. Matt Mallon. <laughs> I, yeah, well, I don't know. Let, like, let's Daniel, like, see. He has no power. To res- yeah. Like, Triple G's not going to respect his, his his lack of power. I just don't see it. Like, I don't know. I feel bad for the guy. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. I think this is an interesting fight. Uh, I don't I don't know why. I mean, Triple G's a big favorite. But uh, I think I, I wanted Daniel Gale to fight this guy for a while. I mean, you've heard my famous go home Gale rant. And, uh,. He finally took the fight, so we'll see. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't have the same Parker, luster. Right? It doesn't have the same luster for me. That's what I said. If he wouldn't have lost this Barker fight, I would be excited. But watching him lose the Barker fight, uh, I know that he can't. He's not going to be able to deal with uh, Golovkin. He's going to, like I said, he's going to give us some questions. But he, Did you see his Osama fight? When he fought the same guy that Triple G fought his last fight, uh, Osama and, and Dom, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the African guy from Ghana. Nah. Uh, Adama, Adama, yeah, Adama. Yeah, did you, have you seen that, any footage of that? No. Yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it. Yeah, and been watching that fight, you think that he's going to make it interesting against Triple G? Uh... See, but that, I mean, that, that's a different, I guess, Daniel Gale, too, man. Uh, I don't know. I think the volume punching will, 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 will give him problems early, and then, you know, he'll stop him late. I mean, I want to see Triple G go round. I want to see Triple G go some rounds. I don't know what the over-under for rounds is, but I, I think it's going to be done in under five and a half. I, I don't know what the Vegas is going to do for the odds, but, I mean, I don't know. Huh? I, I just don't. He does shit like I, I. He's real good. That's all I have to like. I don't know. He, he, I think he's. Um. I don't think any guy between 154 and 68 could beat him, except maybe Andre Ward, just size. And he. And if you want to talk about being, um. You know, not getting treated fair, fairly in the business, Triple G is a great chance. To, another example too. And he, he's right now in his prime. And I think he's going to be ducked over and over again for at least another year, year and a half until somebody's forced to fight him. Yeah, well, he's being treated unfairly in terms of legacy, but he's being paid handsomely on very low-risk fights. Low-risk because he's that much better than the opposition? Well, I mean, you can't really reasons. say like that. Both reasons, because you he's know, better because he does what he does better. He cuts the ring off. He hits hard, but of course, because of low-level opposition. I mean, when 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 Daniel Gill is the the best fighter you've ever fought, yeah, it's a fucking problem. You wouldn't say that. Well, you think Quillen's better than Daniel Gilly? Like, let's be honest. Like, there's not that many guys in the 160-pound division, especially since Cotto is considered the lineal middleweight champion. Obviously, that's that's bullshit. But well, I mean, Cotto, there's really not. Cotto threw a monkey wrench and everything because, you know, we all were crying for Golovkin versus Martinez. So that didn't happen. All that's left is scraps, though. I mean, who who's up and coming that you feel can give Triple G a loss? I mean, I mean no, honestly, nobody. But he needs exactly. to, he needs to, I mean, his only thing to do to build him up as a star, kind of like what Roy Jones did when he didn't have that many names in his prime of his career, is just unify the belts and just knock people out for another five years. I mean, what else can he do? Well, I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not knocking him. Remember, I'm the guy that said he's being paid handsomely to fight low-level opposition. You're calling him, what else can you do? I'm calling him low-level opposition. We're, in, we're on the same path, my friend. All right, man. Yeah, I mean, I feel you. No, I feel you. I agree with you. All right, appreciate you guys. I'll let you guys go. All right. Nine zero eight, you're live. Yeah, this is Andre Dakota. What's going on, guys? What up? What's going on? Uh, I guess I'll see, see receiving those gloves soon. I hope. 
Yeah, well, Vic said he he sent it out, and I got I, I told you uh, Saturday. All right, no problem, man. All right, well, I have to ask you, Ness, man. Great uh, interviews at the press conference, but was Al Heyman's picture hanging on the wall like Jesus Christ? Because I've never heard so many defensive responses by so-called CEOs for interviews in my life. I mean, Stephen Espinoza. I mean, he act like he's not. A, he act like he's not running things. He might as well say Al Heyman runs Showtime Sports because. He can't even give you what's going on as far as Garcia and the soccer fight. I mean, look, Ticketmaster got that fight given away three tickets. You get a four ticket free if you go to the website right now. What? For what fight is yeah, that? If you go to Ticketmaster right now and you go under the full ticket sales, there's a three for four deal right there. <laughs> for what fight? That's crazy. The Garcia fight of Barclays. Oh, wow. That's yeah, because if you last week I went, to, I was thinking about getting some seats. You know, if you go to Ticketmaster, you get to see what seats are open. It was a lot of blue. All of a sudden, if you go to the website today, that that seating that seating chart is gone. It's just a standard seating chart. Wow. wow. That's why I was hoping that Steve would answer that question about the Garcia fight. If you go, on, if you look at social media, Golden Boy, everybody's ripping this card, and it seems like it doesn't even phase Golden Boy. You know, it, it's it's crazy. And, you know, and Larry Ellaby, if you're supposed to be a CEO, how you don't have a future plans for your company past past September? That makes no sense. Are you really a company, or are you just an LLC on paper? I mean, we're just an LLC on paper. Like, to me. You know, you know what's funny? You, you know what's funny about all this stuff? Radio Radio Raheem interviewed Floyd today. I saw the video. Uh, and he goes, oh, uh, you know, you're back, you know, Golden Boy promotion, this promo. He goes, let me make this clear to you right now. We're we not the B side. We're the A side. So this is a Mayweather promotion. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that. Come on, man. It's not. If, if you were the A side, you would have bumped Golden Boy off that day. You would have the A side. Las Vegas. How much? Four or five million dollars? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Come on. I mean, it's like if you're supposed to be a CEO, you should have a future plan for the next six to eight months. But you can't you can't see past September? Are you really a company or are you just an LLC filed in the state of Nevada? Anybody can file an LLC and say we're a company. Well, Come on, man. You can't tell us who's going to be the undercard. It's the middle of July in the fight in September. Are you going to tell a bunch of no-name fighters to start training for the Mayweather card and give them 20 grand a pop? Boycott it, man. Boycott it. Yo, it's bullshit. It, you know, it's hey. bullshit. That's why, you know, I'm more, hey, I like the politics side Andre. of the business, but when I watch these so-called CEOs and how they respond, I'm surprised the Showtime, ex Showtime CEO deal with a lot of shit to happen. So, Andre. You know, I mean, hello? Yeah, I wanted to ask, so, so you mad at TMT right now? I'm not mad at TMT. I'm just, I, it kind of it kind of surprised me that, you know, Matthew Black, the, the, direct, the, the CEO of Showtime, allow how... Stephen Elson knows to carry himself in a public public situation such as a press conference and refuse to give out numbers. You know, I mean, what come, if it was HBO, they'll give out the numbers. All of a sudden, Showtime will give out numbers. We already know that what the deal is. But come on, man. Yeah, Be straightforward to people that pay the damn subscription. Advocate. Play devil's advocate because at least, and I hope somehow this falls on Espinosa's ears because at least he's out there. He is yeah, taking right. interviews. I don't You're even right. know who Ken Hirschman is. I think I seen him the other day, and it was like a ghost. Man, it's 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 just amazing, you know, as a business owner, to watch so-called CEOs carry themselves that way. Like, oh, the con the numbers are in my bag. All right, all right, you don't have to take it that way. I mean, just say the numbers are not gonna be released. You don't have to get sarcastic if you're supposed to be a, such a high-profile figure. Well, I mean, if you ask for those, you know that's how he is. <laughs> He's a sarcastic yeah. guy. <laughs> well, what do you thought about Andre Ward being nominated for SB? Come on. It was LRB. It was LRB that said the numbers aren't as bad. All right. All right. Well, both of those guys are the same. But they both was dumb. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. man. But look, man, guys, appreciate everything you guys are doing. I'm looking forward to getting those gloves. And everybody that's listening on this on this, on this this show, donate. Man, okay. Support this crew. Yeah, man, uh, since you, you, you ain't messing with TMT no more, I guess you ain't going to want this Mayweather glove I got right here. Nah, man, send me the Canelo, man. Oh, no. No, no. The Mayweather is for, uh, I mean, you won the Canelo. The Mayweather is for this time now, for this fight. 
Well, I support. I'll support regardless. So if I win, if the computer picks me again, why not send that shit? <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, uh, I appreciate Palmer, everything, guys. So see you later. All right, brother. Rob Palmer, what's up? Nice. What's going on, brother? How's it going, man? I'm with Vic. I had a draw. Oh, God. Rob, oh, no. <laughs> After what, what can you do? <laughs> and then it comes to the end. I'm going to have to change the changing title. Changing it up to get something else. I'm going to have to change the title, man. We ain't even talking about rigging down. No, no. Boy, don't get well, no I'll love, talk about rigging no down at the end. Let me just let me say my piece about... Let me say my piece about... You're breaking up big time. Are you there, Rob? No, he is not. He better not think I hung up on him. Uh, let me see. 718, you're live. Who's this? Yo, Ness, what up, though, man? QB, what up? Yeah, man. Yeah, I like the way you G-checked uh, Lennon Ellaby and Steven Espinosa, man, on the press conference, man. <laughs> yo, man, that dude, yo, man. It was funny, my brother, man. Oh man, and Lennon Ellaby was trying. He couldn't even lie, man. He was so he was stuck, man. He lied so much, man. The glass was fogging up. <laughs> but yeah, man. When is um what? So if Riggin now and not fighting in um HBO two, where is he gonna fight at? Unimas. And it's gonna be where? Where we can watch it at? Unimas. Unimas. Yeah, you got to check your... your oh, so they ain't box. even airing that shit. That's crazy, man. No, they is airing it. It's going to be on Unimas. The channel's Unimas. It's a Spanish channel. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. But, um, yeah, that's crazy, man. Mayweather and, um... I don't know. I think, um... I think, um... Um... <clears throat> um Madonna and them going to wear their gloves, man. They don't care if they... I don't think that he cares if he, they don't fight. They trying to wear their gloves, man. So I don't, I don't think like I seen the press conference they was pushing and all that. that it was in San Antonio me. too. It was crazy. They was in San Antonio pushing each other like Mayweather was mad and shit. Then Garcia was saying, "Yo, if you a man of your word, shake your hand. Oh, let us wear our gloves and we and when it takes all." Mayweather didn't do that. He the one started the shit though, trying to sign some paper and then they have, trying to make them sign it. But then when they when when the shit really got let us wear our gloves and when it takes off, Mayweather didn't do it. Yeah, Mayweather and them they, they just on some move. I don't know what's wrong with them, man, but they lies is catching up with them, man. The public seen it, man. That's all I can say, man. All the lies and all that is catching up with them, man. I don't know how why they, they why they can't get a promoter's license. I don't understand that. They they said uh at the New York press conference that they got numerous uh, licenses. They're working on getting one in D.C. to do a card there. Uh, they said they have their New York license, and uh, him and Ellerby, Mayweather and Ellerby, both use words in other cities or whatever. And they got Showtime, a uh, uh, multi-million dollar, yo. Man, they got Showtime doing, like, scared to even talk. Man, I don't know what Mayweather power he got. Al Heyman, man, but them, man, that dude a powerful dude, man. They got these dudes not even telling, like, the real, they got these dudes on hush mode. Why, and that's why. I don't know, man. I don't know. <sighs> this box shit getting crazy, man. It's getting like a conspiracy movie. <laughs> uh, Alright, my brother, but man. Maybe it's yeah, not, yeah, man. Rick, what up, maybe though, it's man? not. You know what I'm saying? It's cool, though, man. It's all good, man. All right, QB. All right, my brother's peace. Maybe, maybe it's not, though, Vic, because if, if Al Heyman was all mighty and powerful, Laura wouldn't have lost, right? I don't know. But there's, there's one guy that could be above Al Heyman, and that's Canelo. Six, four, seven, you're live. What up, fam? This is T from Toronto again, man. I was I got caught in drive-by mode the last time, so I'm just gonna touch on the Canelo thing real quick, and then I'll get to I'll get to the actual title and talk about rigging down. But um, I just want to know how you get 114 
114. If Fam only landed 24 headshots, like I understand you throwing the body shots or whatever, but the body shots are supposed to get a guy to stop moving so that you can start landing upstairs and throwing combinations. He was just throwing something to, to land like it's an amateur fight. Like I got white tips on, so this is, let me get this point. That's not effective aggression. That's not ring generalship. That's nothing. That's just throwing some shit out there and hopefully I land something the crowd go crazy and sway the judge. You don't deserve a draw. You didn't deserve a draw. Not at all. I don't see it. But I want to I wanna see you defend your point. I don't care what round it was. 24 headshots landed for a whole fight. So you're telling me body shots don't matter anymore? No, I didn't say they don't matter. I didn't say they didn't matter. I mean, I, I've seen I've seen guys stopped on body shots. I mean, in that in that in that undercard, my man stopped. Tomoki Kameda Tomoki Kameda stopped his guy with a pulverizing body shot. So you telling me if he if he if he landed that to the head, it makes a difference? He stopped him with it though. All right, but body shots matter. They're punches. Right, you got to give credit for the body work. That's all I'm saying. It's a, clean, it's a clean, effective shot. His body shots weren't clean, effective shots. They didn't stop him from moving well, around. According the to the guy that's tabulating the numbers for the copy box, they were. The holster and stop popping him with that left hand or the jab either. He didn't stop him from doing anything. Well, he I mean, he, for three shot. rounds, he stopped, he stopped him from, from moving around the ring. Come on, man. You didn't see him stop for a second. And that's why people call him Seven, seven eight, and nine, he didn't stop? Around and dancing and moving. Seven, eight, and nine, he didn't stop? No, he stopped from the headshot. The uppercut that cut his eye made him stop. It wasn't no body shot that did that. So, so okay, so so round seven, round seven, round seven, he get, round seven, he gets hit with an uppercut. His cut man does a great job because you don't ever see it. In the rest of the fight, so eight and nine, it, oh. it was still a headshot? The reason why you don't see it for the rest of the fight because he wasn't getting hit in the face no more. He was doing yeah. a great job defensively. You okay, so eight and nine, he wasn't moving. Why wasn't, he moving? why wasn't he moving? There was no blood coming down. Why wasn't he moving? Why your 114, 114, the sound is what? fine. But why would, you, why would you score close rounds for the guy who wasn't the ring general? If Canelo was the ring general, he made his man... Completely scared of the power, and he and he pretty much ran for the fight. Yeah, why, you give him. You why give would him, you? You give him those rounds. rounds. You give him those rounds. You give him seven. You give him eight and nine. Yeah. No, Where else is he the ring general? More than that. Where else is he, he the ring general? general at? Throughout the second half of the entire fight, he was the, Canelo. So you was gave him ten, eleven, and twelve. General. Also, you gave him ten, eleven, and twelve. Also. Let me let me check. I think I gave eleven to Laura. No, I gave uh, I gave Canelo seven, eight, nine. I gave Laura ten, and eleven and twelve to Canelo. Because he was that's a ring great. general, he was put he was pushing the man back. No, see that's the difference between pushing the guy back and me stepping around because I want to. No, no, there's a difference I don't know. between me pushing. You got to. Pushing the guy back is landing shots and making him move there. Not me moving and you just throwing something and hoping it land because Canelo was missing wild all night and you've seen that. That's why. Because he wasn't pushing the guy back. He was reacting to what Laura was doing. He wasn't dictating. You're right. You're right because I believe Angulo pushed, the, pushed Laura back, but what Canelo did was make Laura scared to engage at all. So that's, that's where it was. That's why he would throw... One straight he left. Every, every he was other moving round that round. way since round one. You can't say he was afraid in round one when he didn't get hit. He was doing that from the beginning of the fight. That's how he won he had, the fight. But he, he, had, he had success early on. And then and then once he started getting hit with a couple body shots, and there, there was a body shot, and I think it was round maybe three or four, Right from round four. Round four. four. I gave Canelo. I gave Canelo round four. It was round four. From that, box from that round on, specifically, he went from boxing and moving to just completely just trying to get away from the fight. Like completely, it wasn't how even is that like, the case. If he he won round, Laura won round five and six. So how is that the case? You can't say from that yeah. round on. You thought he you gave him, you five. gave you gave Canelo seven, eight, and nine, and then eleven and twelve. So 
So five and six, yeah, you're really right. Gave I like to that. I well, four body shot didn't stop him from doing shit. I gave him five and six ball. based on based on the fact that he was running, but he managed to throw a singular left hand in there that got through, and Canelo couldn't catch him at all. So yeah, I had to give Laura the round. You're right about that. That's but yeah. that's not running. That's effective boxing. Because if I'm running, I'm not landing shit. I'm getting the fuck out of dodge. But if at I'm that, moving and punching, point, I'm being a boxer. In those particular two rounds, it was effective boxing. For most of the fight, it was not effective boxing. It was being afraid to engage, which to me would mean that Canelo was the ring general. And so I can't say that Laura was the ring How general. How can you Just say that he, he was afraid right, to engage all right, guys, if he all right. landed more punches all than the right. other guy? Y'all killing me with this shit. Yo, that shit happened last night. All right, man. We we off it. We off it. But Rigandau, Rigandau gonna cook this kid, man. I don't, I don't know where this guy came from, but all I know is that he fought a guy in a debut bout, couldn't stop him. That shit went to the to the end. His um, last three fights. He fought the next guy who had one rounders. fight. What's that? His last three fights. That who said guy? Rounders. That who said guy? Yeah. And then uh, our next guy was 13 and 13, and another cat was 0 and 1. So I don't know, man. I don't know who's making these fights. I like Rigandau. I love his style, so I'm going to watch it. But I don't know. What what you think about fights that's being made like this with Rigandau and, and, uh, and Garcia, man? Well, I think that the Rigandau situation is totally different from Garcia, um, but neither one are, are excusable. Um, but Rigandau, he's he's basically off TV and he's fighting a nobody because he's getting off top ranks. Kind they don't want him anymore, so they got to waste that last fight. Yeah, yeah that's but, what uh, I yo, but I, I mean that that kind of goes. Now I was gonna tell you I'm gonna get to some that other calls goes... because uh, Vic. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah, guys, we're gonna end it early. Vic uh, had something to do, so I'm gonna try and get to everybody that's uh, on before we do leave. Seven three two, you're live. What's good? What up? What up? What's going on, man? Man, your dream in the building. Yo, what's this, man? I hear, man. What you do, man? Uh, what happened with other people? <laughs> you didn't see the interview? Nah. So then I don't know what to tell you, bro. What the fuck? Would you ask him? Watch the interview, man. I'm not about to, like, tell you everything that happened when you could just watch it. It's not that long. I just anyway, asked him man, some tough I questions. Gotta get off that Laura shit, man. Uh, I saw that uh, Canelo Laura fight. I'm trying to get off of it, Dream. I'm trying. They keep coming back to it. I'm trying to get, look. Nah, nah, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. A lot I'm of the niggas that call, in. man, a lot of these black dudes, man, they always biased towards boxers. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping that Laura won the fight. I'm, I, I've never been a Canelo fan. The nigga's been a hype job most of his career. But I got to respect him now for taking on the toughest challenges, you know, that he, he wants to fight. Now they talking about Kirkland next. I mean, he just fought Laura. He fought Trout. Nobody said he would fight Trout. He fought Floyd. Uh, you know, he, he went and fought Laura, man. He went and went after Laura every single round, body shots. Uh, I wanted to score the fight for Laura, but I gave it 115 and 113 for Canelo, seven rounds to five. I got my scorecard. Laura ain't do shit, man. He didn't do enough. That's not how you beat. Anybody on pay per view. That's not how you beat any cash cow. That's not how you beat anybody. Period, man. If you want to fight, if you want to fight of a big magnitude, you gotta you gotta press the action, man. He ain't do that. I mean, he he, he he. I knew he wasn't gonna do that shit. I knew he wasn't gonna throw punches. That's when that when that fight came up. I didn't even pick a winner for that. I said, look, man. It depends where Laura show up. If Laura only fights when you make him fight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and he against Trout, he beat him, but that shit was hard. I was a loser. You know what I'm saying? Against uh, Angulo, he had no choice but to throw a lot of punches because Angulo, 
he just be on top of you, just on you all day, just like Canelo. Canelo threw a whole bunch of punches against Angulo because Angulo just comes forward. But uh, anyway, he ain't winning that fight. Yeah, that's how most see it. That's how most see it, and most are right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, the 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 commentators, the announcers, everybody, man. Um. Anyway, so he's out of the picture. Laura's gone. He. he he wasted his chance. He wasted his opportunity by fighting a conservative fight against a cash cow. You don't do that shit, man. If your name is Mayweather, you could do whatever the hell you want, and you're going to get a decision. You know what I'm saying? Maidana did probably be more against Floyd than Canelo did against Lada. But guess what? He's not the cash cow. If he was the big name, that's, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that shit would have been a unanimous decision for Maidana. That's why they're fighting again. Because one, Floyd don't got nobody to fight. And two, he know he know that nigga gave him the business. He know that. He felt that shit in his heart. You know what I mean? So anyway, man, but uh, uh, Triple G Gale, that's, a, that's just another victim, man. But uh, one thing I got to say, uh, you know, about Canelo is you got to, I got to give that boy his respect, man, because... Nah, he just, he wants to, you know, he's taking a page out of De La Hoya book, man. And what is that? Take on the toughest challenges. Go, uh, anybody that wants to second doubt what I just said, go look at De La Hoya resume. If you was the best out there available, Oscar was going to fight you. He didn't care about, oh, it don't do big numbers. It don't, he didn't, nah. If you nice, we fighting. You, you the number one contender. You, the, you better than me, we fighting. Win the rules, we fighting. And that's what Canelo doing. Canelo ain't have to fight this dude, man, for what? That shit ain't so no pay-per-views. But he went in and fought the dude, man. And now they, he's, if he's like Kirkland, shit. Look, man, you got to give that boy his... I think he'll fight, he'll fight Triple G, no problem. He don't give a fuck. And he probably knocked Triple G ass out, too. I mean, this nigga beating everybody we say he can't beat. You know what I'm saying? So... That, that boy hit hard, man. Triple G, I seen Triple G get rocked by Rosado. You know what I'm saying? Rosado's another dumbass nigga that don't throw punches. Like like Laurel and Trout. He got to throw punches to win fights, man. And Canelo, he, he, he uh, Triple G fuck around running into something, man, if he, if, he, if he fight Canelo, man. But I don't think that fight is going to happen. I think Kirkland is next. Yeah, that's what the rumor is. That's what the rumor is, man. Somebody said something, man, but I forgot. Uh, I was going to touch on something somebody mentioned before. Anyway, let's pay attention to Rigging the fighting this this week on Unimas. I don't know if everybody has that channel on on the on the upper east upper east coast. We got it on the west coast. I'm sure they got it. A lot of uh, Hispanics, but you know, let's see what Rigging the does. Take down Jerry. You know, that's not an exciting fight. It's good to see Pacquiao back in action, but I don't even—I don't think Pacquiao even gonna train for that for that dude. Bro. He's gonna go in there. He's gonna come in at 147, meaning that he ain't trained because he when he trained, he was like 144, 145. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, man. All right, man. You don't think that fight is interesting, though? Uh, Pacquiao, uh, Jerry? Yeah. Nah, it, it ain't not. I think I think that it's gonna be one of those fights where um, a guy like Manny Pacquiao. Just like he did in the first Tim Bradley fight. He's like, who? I want to fight. All right, I'll fight Tim Bradley, whatever. He came in, and he didn't put a tremendous effort and still dominated. Came in at 147 and still dominated the fight. 90% of the world, like your man just said earlier, thought he won the fight, including myself. You know, And I'm a big Tim Bradley fan. So it's going to be another one of those fights. It's hard for you to get up for a uh, Chris Algieri if you're Manny Pacquiao. So it's going to be a fight that should be, that might be closer than it should be because maybe Manny won't put the effort he, he would if he was fighting like, you know, Tim Bradley the second time. Well, we know that he was like, ah, right, yeah, you going to rob me? All right, I'm going to show you Manny Pacquiao. But in this fight, I don't know. I, I don't have no idea what to expect, man. I don't know what to expect from Manny in this fight. Fair enough. But I, uh, I don't know. I I think that uh, 
that uh, Algeria has shown that he's not going to stand there and trade, and Bradley chose to trade both times he did fall. 8-3-2, you're live. I think it'll be a little interesting to see a guy consistently running away from Pacquiao, but at the same time counting on the job. 8-3-2, you're live. Hey. Another 8-3-2. 832-628. You're live. Yo. Okay. 626. You're live. What up, Ness? Delta, what up? What's going on, man? Hey, man, first of all, um, this weekend, you know, people people want to take uh, take all kinds of shots at Zhou Shiming. And the thing is, you know, I'm not even a fan of the guy. But if you're going to be one of these guys that hypes up all these fuckers because of amateur careers, you got to hype him up too. Otherwise, you're a hypocrite. Well, prepare for a lot of people to be hypocrites because nobody likes Zhou Shiming. Well, yeah. Well, well and the thing is, they're hypocrites and they're, they're fucking disingenuous because they want to talk all this dumb shit about, cool. Oh, these guys are boxers, and he's not. Well, guess what? He's a motherfucker has two gold medals and two and a bronze to, to tell you different. But um, um, as far as Guillermo Rigondeaux, though, uh, the guy he's fighting for, called Keith Jim, the the what? He only had like two really like high level fights. They were against Daniel Pulso de Leon about eight years ago. He he lost the first one by decision. He lost the second one by knockout in the, in the first minute of the fight. So. You know, Rigano is stays fighting leftovers. You know, he fought Mars as leftovers. Now he's fighting Ponce's from about a decade ago. So, I mean, hopefully uh, after he gets out of this top rank deal, he can get, you know, a deal with Tyson Promotions or somebody. I don't know. Somebody that's going to actually, you know, get, get him some real good fights. Damn, if he signs but, I mean, to Tyson, uh, if he mm-hmm. signs to Tyson, he's doomed. Why do you say that? Tyson is doing Fox Sports 1 and ESPN, man. He did one well, show. How is that box. doing? Well, and someone and Soma Moreno is going to be fighting on the, on the Tyson card? Yeah, ESPN. I mean, Fo- Fox Sports 1 in August. And why, why is that such a bad thing? <laughs> what? Yo, they, these guys why fight for the- money. They fight for money. You know that, right? They fight. They have a family. You know what the budget is for a fucking ESPN fight? No, they, they go over those budgets sometimes, though, depending on the name. If there's a big enough name, they'll go over the budget. You know that. Listen, man. They, they went over the budget on, for Ariola versus Severn. Listen. Rigandow does not deserve to be over there, though. Not on a fucking low-level shit like that. He beat the pound for pound. Well, hey, not, not neither, neither did the Klitsch goals, but they still got banned from HBO. So what the fuck? You know, all these people, they act like Rigandow's some special case. There have been motherfuckers that have been banned from there before. Yeah, but the Klitschko's come back every now and again. Yeah, what, on Epix or some shit? No, on HBO. Man, I, I, I still haven't seen a Klitschko fight on HBO in a, in a long time, man. What? That Vladimir Klitschko, whatever that nigga who he fought last time, sure as fuck wasn't on there. No, that one was on ESPN, but remember David Hay was there? Ariola yeah. was there. Exactly, it was on ESPN. But these guys get fight for money, right, Ned? No, you you asked about um, Klitschko, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. His last fight was not on HBO. But for Klitschko, it don't matter. It never mattered to him. You don't get that. For Rigandau, it matters. He has nowhere to go. Klitschko has Germany. The whole point. He- that's the, whole, that's the whole point is it matters about the name. If Rigano is that big of a draw, he can prove himself on, on uh, Terrestrial TV, man. No, no, no. And I think he is. No. He is, legitimately. If he gets promoted right, he can be. Yeah, but he doesn't deserve to go to ESPN. He doesn't deserve that. He ain't do nothing wrong. He beat what the is, man what in is, his what division. Is he, what, does he deserve, what does he deserve then, man? To, to have he deserves to be on a pro- fighting fucking side called Keith Jim. He deserves to be on a prime television network, HBO or Showtime. Okay, and why doesn't Showtime pick his ass up there? I don't know, I don't know, but he deserves to be fighting Abner Mars is of the world, 
the Framptons, the Well, Quigs. first of all, yeah, yeah. First of all, after after Adam Lamar is knocked confidently on out, Rigano wasn't saying shit else about him. So I mean, there there there's that one there. But you know, if he really wants to show and prove, I'd suggest he try and go out, go after that featherweight tournament. Because, yeah, but that's you know, every time, every, anytime somebody else, anytime somebody else talks about moving up a weight, you know, everybody has no problem with it, or they still say that they have to. Whenever it comes to Rigano, they say, "Oh, he's too small." Bullshit, nigga. Gary Russell Jr. moved up. Fucking Abner Mars moved up. Yeah, Yuri Chris Bianco used to be a flyweight. Floyd Mayweather was a fucking light flyweight with an amateur. You don't even Same know with Manny Pacquiao. Down. So bullshit, asshole. What? I don't even know bringing that. That motherfucker only weighed like 128, yo. That's yeah, so what? Now that, that still proves that he's that he's cutting weight to make the fight. The day of the Nonito Donair press conference, he weighed 122 for the press conference. He is small. You oh. never even met him, probably, or seen him. Clearly, he okay, is small. And, okay, and Mayweather, Mayweather and Pacquiao are able to fight guys that are 17 pounds heavy, so. So I guess that just ain't shit, right? Now, the, remember this. Remember who you're talking to, right? I never want nobody to move up. So it's not, I'm not even well, just I mean, singling hey. out. I'm not okay. even just singling okay. out okay. rigging down. You. Remember, you guys yeah. wanted Ward to move yeah. up or move down. I, I wasn't agreeing with that. You guys want Golovkin to move up. I didn't agree with that. I, I don't never agree with people moving up. They got to well, do no, it right. I, I, hear you on, I hear you on that. My, my whole thing, though, Ness, is when it comes to divisional dominance, if somebody wants to stay at one division and dominate there for a long time, I'm cool with that. But when it, whenever you're, you have a dearth of opposition at that weight class, then sometimes you have to do it in order to make that real money. And I think Regan is in that position. He's, in, he's between a rock and a hard place. I, 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 think, don't think I think I so. think anybody would buy him, fights between him and Lomachenko or him and Gradovich or him and uh, Nicholas Walters, any of those guys. So those guys legitimately provide danger. I don't think that uh, he's in a bad predicament. I think he made 750000 for his last fight uh, versus Donaire, and uh, I think that that increased his minimum. So, you know, wherever this fight is landing, no, they, they have to pay him what they have to pay him, and when they release him, Whoever's picking them up is picking them up, picking up the ring and WBO and WBC, right? Oh, no, no, no. WBC yeah. is on the other side with Gonzalez, so he's got whatever, WBA, WBO, and the ring. Or IBF. That's right, that's right. I don't know, no. The other IBF, one is um, Mar Hula Hugo Gabriel, Martinez right? has one of them, and then uh, Santa Cruz has the other one. So wherever he goes, he's going to get a decent mandatory minimum. Um, I hear what you're saying, you know. I... I, I you know, I don't mind that if that's well, what well, the fighter see, wants to do, but I don't. The reason like why I say that, the reason why, the reason why I say that, is historically those smaller guys, guys like featherweight and below, have had to go above and beyond in order to really get paid. It's only recently that certain guys have managed to get huge purses. And I don't you disagree know, that's, with that's that. That's a real rarity. I don't disagree with that. It's been the emergence of Al Heyman into that lower weight class, but uh, you know, I don't really care about the money. Like, um, I only care when it's too little. For a guy that deserves more, but um, you know, there's fights. Santa Cruz is out mm -hmm. there. There's fights. Anselmo Moreno is no, a good fight. Yeah, there is. Yeah, no, I've been, I've been, I've been uh, propping Moreno for a long time too. He's Tell gonna Moreno be fighting on the Tyson undercard in a couple months too. He's gonna be fighting against Juan Carlos Payano. You want somebody to move up? Tell Moreno move up. He the one hot in that 118 yeah. all his life. Hey, he 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 did it once already. He fought Mars at 122. That was that was a that was a that was a move up. He learned this lesson too. <laughs> well, hey man, not everybody, not everybody can uh, uh, just pull off slick maneuvers against every single opponent. Call it, some some guys actually have inside fighting ability. Hey Nelton, what did you score that fight? We ain't gonna get into it. Just I just want to remember. What Alvarez versus Lara? Yeah. One sixteen, one twelve for Alvarez. Hmm. And people know that I don't even like Alvarez, so I mean, I don't that, know, but it's it's, it's on tape, and uh, it sounded like you was gonna say Laura. Nope. Everybody, everybody on the the coalition knows that I supported for Alvarez. Everybody that that was no, talking no, no, to me no, that no, night. No, 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 no. I'm not second guessing it. I'm not second guessing it. What I'm saying is, you you know, it sounded like that. Like, it was like, look, Canelo. You know. Yeah. 
But um, let, let to be honest Rob, with you, Rob, I think that was a fight where both of them looked bad. To be honest with you, I thought I thought Alvarez showed his limitations with regard to footwork and being able to to cut off the ring, and Lara showed his uh, limitations with what, regard what to work are you speaking not of? throwing enough volume and not throwing, not counter punching, not taking mm-hmm. counter punch offenses. Which foot? Which footwork are you speaking of? But that's for another show anyway. Uh, Rob, you wanted to talk about Rigondeaux, right? And I've got a, an idea for how to promote him to make him popular. Can you hear me? Okay. I hear you. I'm waiting for you to tell yeah. me this great idea. Um, so, okay, so I actually think he should move down in weight. And the reason for that is, you, like you said, like naturally he could probably be making flyweight, super flyweight, no problem. And I think if he was fighting against those guys, he'd be knocking people out in three or four rounds looking spectacular. And because of that, he could fight five or six times a year. But the problem because with he's that, only fighting four rounds. Rob, the problem with that is um, he was very adamant about saying that he's comfortable at that weight, and, and his chin is shaky at 122. So if he's struggling to make weight... No, but I think his chin is shaky because he's fighting big guys that are strong. If he goes in against those smaller guys... They're not as powerful, and he'll be okay. I don't think it's because Daenerys he's not that struggling to make weight. I think it's because... Well, Donaire's a guy that... I mean, Donaire started smaller, but he has grown into the weight classes that he's in, you know? He couldn't get... Yeah, but that's, that's could not get back fat. down to, like, 115 anymore, could he? Donaire's big. It was evident in the fight that he was bigger. Yeah, no, I, mean, I just think hey, that's the way. I think like the only people. I love Rigondeaux. I think I love watching him, but he's only ever going to appeal to real hardcore boxing fans. So, just no, I, put I, mean, with, I disagree with, with that. Good if, you, guys. if you match him right, if you match him right, he'll 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 be he'll be fun to watch. You can match yeah. anybody right, and they'll be fun to watch. It doesn't matter how quote unquote boring they are. Oh, you I, I agree with you, but you match him. Yeah. So what you do is you match him with guys that he is going to be able give to give him. Give him Eric Morrell there. Matt smaller guys. <laughs> well, give him Eric Morrell. They gave like him to everybody. I think I think him and Moreno would make a great fight. I think that'd be a fantastic fight to watch. Moreno. Yeah. I think I think I think him no. and Mars would have been a great fight. Wait, wait, wait! You said Moreno? Yeah, I don't yeah, agree I'm with not. Moreno. Moreno's a Moreno's a, a counterpuncher as well. So what? That doesn't mean anything. He's a counterpuncher on the inside. He'll go. He'll get inside on and he'll pressure. No, he won't. That fight would counter. be the, that fight would be the same as the Agbeko fight, if not worse. He That's how I see Beko. that. I, he's a, he's a he's a totally different fight, type of fighter than Akbeko. Comparing him to Akbeko is a non-starter. Akbeko hadn't fought in two years. He's still yeah, but I, you know, I still don't see that being being a good fight. And with the with the Lara Alvarez fight, I I thought it was a draw, just because some of what Lara was doing, I don't personally class as defense. So that's where the difference in the score comes from me to a lot of, to you. But I still class it as a robbery because that judge, Martinez, he had his mind made up before the fight even started. So to me, that's a robbery because you've already got one guy that's in Canelo's corner. The fight is pretty much lopsided, and that's a robbery no matter what way you look at it. If you have a referee that's, you know, getting not giving fouls one way, that's a robbery as well. Man, and, and Canelo always has a judge. Let me get to this last caller because I'm gonna get out of here a little early today, guys. Um, five one three, you're live. Who's this? Hey, what's up? What's up? This Z Nux. I'm back. What up? It's good, chilling, chilling, man. Hey, um. <clears throat> Hey, about that Canelo Law fight, man, that was a robbery. I, I ain't got my scorecard in front of me, but I do remember I scored a fight. I did score it on 115, 113 for Laura. The times it did seem like his foot movement was a bit excessive, but at the end of the day, if somebody's not hitting you, they ain't hitting you. And a lot of those body shots were caught, so I, nah, 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 nah. Law won that, point blank, period. But um, about other things. Well, the whole James DeGale and Glovkin fight, you know, I don't really watch too much of James DeGale, honestly, but uh, I just, I just got, I'll have to go out and say, 
I'm going for Glaufman because of his punching power up. And this whole Riggin Dow nonsense that's been going on, that's bullshit. Riggin Dow is pretty much like my favorite fighter other than like Floyd Mayweather, Andre Ward, and a couple other guys. He's, he's like my favorite fighter to watch. And I think it's, it's a disgrace, an absolute disgrace that they treat this man like this because, you know, he is a pure boxer. And it's, it, 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 it's crazy, like, um, about this whole running thing, about people that's been going on on the YTBC, it's crazy because if you're in a fight, or, or if, if I can say this, have any of you guys um, boxed any a time of you guys' lives? Have you guys? Yeah. They, okay. Let, let, like from, I, well, I don't know you guys' uh, style or anything like that, but if a guy was standing in front of you much stronger and bigger, aren't you going to your, use your legs and pop the jack to get out the way? And that was something that you would do or have done? That's just the obvious. It's like I keep saying, people just don't like that style. It's not appealing to them. That's why they call it running. Yeah. Yeah, and, and plus, I think a lot of people, they all say because they haven't been hit personally also. Because if they've been hit, they wouldn't be saying that. But um, like I said, man, it's crazy that they're ringing down. I hope he gets picked up by um Golden Boy or Al Heyman or something like that. You know, they signed him and gave him some real good fights. So, you know, you know that's really all I have to say about that. And, and you know, that's that's about it, man, you know. All it's right, crazy, buddy. man, but hey, what can I say, man? It's boxing. I love it anyways. Boxing is like a, like a, like a love-hate relationship. You know what I'm saying? She'll abuse you, but you keep running back. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. Thanks for you know. calling in. Uh, really quick, some headlines before I go, man. Mayweather, we spoke so much about him. He won an SB for the best fighter of the year. Um, and he also has some things to say about Ronda Rousey, uh, and Ronda Rousey has some things to say about him. Um, I think he was asked, uh, did he know who she was, and uh, he kept repeating to the uh, to uh, a reporter to clarify, you know, that he didn't know her. So um, she heard that or whatever, and she says she thinks she could take him. And of course, Dana White says some BS. Look, I don't even want to mention it because all they want to do is uh, get some publicity for their whack ass sport. Um, Bermain, Bermain Stavern has still has an injured hand. It's been a month now, and uh, his fight with Deontay Wilder is going to be delayed. That's not going to happen until November now. Um, so that sucks. But they have uh, until the beginning of August to make sure that those negotiations are set in stone uh, per Suleiman. And for anybody that cares, Roy Jones is, is back fighting. Uh, I don't know why. Man. Roy should just keep commentating. He should work on his promotional company and get them fighters off the fucking bench. Um, yeah, man, and uh, we'll be back Sunday, I guess, after the fights, man. Tune into Unimas. If you don't have it, go to a friend's house, man. Check out Rigandell. He's probably going to shine. Early knockout. See you guys Sunday. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio.